Welcome back to the Herb's Little Dial Take Show. This is episode 30. We've hit the uh, 30s finally. Get down. Get, 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 You got myself, the host of the most yard man, James. I'm so sorry I have no sound effects on me on display right now. It's right there, bro. Just bend over and do it. Oh, it's massive. Wow, you took you're talking a lot of craziness today, you know? I wonder why. I wonder why too. Oh shit, you hit that. You hit yours. We got a lad in the building as well. He's gonna be sad. As well in the building, oh, oh, and we've got Mazzavelli, the silent assassin. Yes, another episode of the Outtake Show, the show we talk about movie, TV, and talk a lot of shit within the TV and movie world. Um, shout out to our first time and current listeners out here. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you didn't the whole. I'm trying to get rid of it. Let's just, oh, let's just, let's just wait right now. Yeah, shout out to new listeners. You lot have been, uh, you lot have been active. You lot have been watching yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been watching keep, keep watching. Yeah, keep, keep sharing. Doing your thing. Give 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 him his, his flowers because he's yeah, been working. Speaking of which, Shout you got some too. accolades for your editing, by the way. Who did? Oh, is it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, who, who's he shining me out? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why are you blushing, bro? I don't know. I've been a black man blush. That's like great. <laughs> 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 what was is that? <laughs> Fuck it up. But yeah, man, it's been it's been a, a nice year so far of outtake. The page yeah. is growing, everything's growing. So it's nice to see that we've reached episode thirty. Like I said, so it's good to see that we're on a nice little pace for the year. Oh, oh, almost as old as you, man. Thirty is crazy. Mm. Wow. See? Wow. Back again. No, he's you miss him. <laughs> Gaslighting <laughs> him again about <laughs> his own fucking age. Wait, 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 how old are you turning you put now? Put by the beast. Oh, Twenty-four in two months. Uh, That's a much. lie. You're 24 now. I've been alive for uh, 23 years and <laughs> oh, shit, he's 10 started months. Back. <laughs> in 23 years. <laughs> No, 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 like, no, like, no, like he was getting caught by police. I was not there. That 23 time. years and 10 months. Cool, yeah, I'm 24. So, what's your, what, land your point. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. Young as a you, 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 you're laughing now, but your mid twenties are coming, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's true. We're coming for you. Who's we? You don't be fossils by the time I get there. <laughs> the you way, know, the you, way say, you got your back say, problems say, going around this time. Lift up your knees. Your lift up your knees. Your legs. Your legs. Yeah, yeah, oh, you should be blessed. You're talking less on you. You're talking less on you. Oh shit! Wait, where are we? Did up thing. Do this. I'm not doing that. That's just too much. You're just doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, at, look at the elegance. Jeans. The elegance of Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> that's such... <laughs> such Have some decorism, bro. <laughs> Have some decorum. Have some decorum. Decorism. With your they're, skinny they're jeans. St- they're stretched skinny. Okay, I can squat in them. You know what I'm saying? Prime money. Oh, fair enough. Okay, this Start guy here. Money. All right, man. Let's go in one with the show, man. Let's go in with the show, man. You, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a busy week. A lot of stuff has happened. Oh, yeah, um, actually, before we get into it, I think Aladdin said he's got some stuff he wanted to do. Yeah. To throw it out. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's more of like a would you prefer this or this? Is it meant to be a quick one, but I know us. Um, nah, you know you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even thought about this stuff, man. Um, biopics, yeah. So when it comes to biopics, you've got two types of titles. You've got the person's name, and you've got a title relating to their life, mm. right? Which do you not prefer? Oppenheimer or One Love? Uh, uh, Lincoln or Paxo Ridge? I'm saying, like, what's, what's I think. Oh, what you prefer? Mm-hmm. Like the title of the person the, being the person's name, or the sign completely different. See what I'm saying? Ah, it's a difficult one. For for Bob Marley, I like One Love because I know Bob Marley. And Oppenheimer, I don't know Oppenheimer, so I prefer the name. But we would have watched it anyway, though. Yeah, because it's because of the director. You're saying, but you so, so the thing is, no, but but I in think terms also, of awareness, no, how many people actually went to watch Robin Hood because they know about his life and they want to know more about his life? I think that's if you know about his life, you would have known it anyway. I think, we, but do you know how many people can go, Oh, one love, I know what that is? Very yeah. few, very few, yeah, very few, a lot of oh, people. so the opposite, it's not bad, yeah, a lot yeah, of the, people. So yeah. then, in that sense, where it's like, Oh, it's a biopic about Bob Marley, a lot of people will be like, oh, Okay, yeah, but cool. But then when you hear One Love, it's you're having that interpretation that it's the music first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Oppenheimer, it's yeah. the, in, the, the individual yeah, or the yeah. person first. So you watch Bob, uh, would you watch One Love if it was called Marley or Bob? Something like that. Uh, or Robert. If it was called Marley. Yeah, yeah. if it was called Marley, it's would you watch it? It's a dead name, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, also, it's a dead name. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a dead, dead name because we got this one called One Love. If, we didn't, if, if One Love wasn't, if they didn't really make it with the title but of again, One Love, and they had it as Marley, it's it's less about him the storyline if if you've seen the reviews and stuff 
the storyline does talk about s his personal life, but mm. the key focus is the music. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think I prefer when it's not the name. Like um, I think they'll always insert the name in certain parts. Like it's not called One Love; it's called Bob Marley One Love. You've got um, Amy Winehouse, it's got Amy Winehouse back to black. So the name's still there, but yeah. it has the little, it has the the little, little two yeah. dots yeah. next to it to, to so, it. So, so, so I you, prefer, I prefer not the name. You don't like the name? So you would watch Oppenheim if it was called Trinity or something? That would be hard. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hard. <laughs> 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 but be then hard. also, it just make me think of The Matrix. That's true. Oh, shit, yeah. Miss Old. What, uh, yeah. You lied! You <laughs> sold me dreams! <laughs> that motherfucker ain't real. <laughs> He's in that. <laughs> I'm telling you right <laughs> now, that, that motherfucker is not real. <laughs> You've seen it. I've seen it. You've seen the edit already. Oh, my bad, sorry. <laughs> All right, so yeah, in conclusion, you don't prefer the titles opposed to the names. Yeah, I like I the names. So. It's been overdone, but I kind of still I, I like it for a bit longer. It's just lazy. Yeah, yeah. It's it easy. Yeah, but it adds a level of like it has weight if the name is big. Yeah, that's why it's lazy because it? it's easy IP. So what would you call? It's easy to be searched. So if not, oh yeah, fair enough. So what would you call? Right, give me like a name, um, King Richard. What would you? What would you call that movie? How How would you title it if it wasn't the name? I mean, that's, a, that's not, a different, not, different scenario. Not. That's a different scenario. Also, course. King Richard is a bit different as well. Yeah. Because he's not King Richard, is he? He's Richard, he's Richard. Williams. Yeah. So the king makes it a bit more. Crazy. Yeah, it yeah. gives it gives more oomph. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, you know, it makes it makes it like a a classic story because when you hear like King Richard it makes you think of like King Henry V mm. or um, King Lear like yeah. these really deep highly dramatic like develop story development Shakespearean plays yeah. but you're getting that in a modern interpretation of have you seen it? yeah of course I've seen that. it I need to watch it it's on Netflix right? yeah I'm looking for some other names oh, Napoleon what would you call Napoleon? The Bastille of Waterloo oh, yeah. But I mean, but that's, that, that's, too, that's, that's too basic. This film's kind of that film in particular was just based on his like. They did a mad time job. So it was like crazy time jobs. Yeah, they, they had to still. Wait, Cherry is a biopic. Anyway, that was my debate. That was my. Um, oh, that was the whole thing. Hopefully, had, hopefully you can have multiple ones. Yeah, no, no, that was it. Okay. I just want to know what you don't think. What you prefer? Fair enough. Sorry, was that shit? I should go. I'll take it back. Oh, no, no, no. Let us know what you think in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> if this clip does bad, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I'll never talk again. <laughs> never, no more ideas. <laughs> it was an icebreaker. It was an icebreaker, man. No. But yeah, let's get into the mix of, like I said, there's a lot of super. But by the way, this is the warning to you guys. Okay? If you like super, if you don't like super old stuff, then Love. use the timestamps and skip because we're going to be talking about a lot of super mm. old shit. For a minute, for a minute. I mean, get back let to me, Let me get my letterbox review. <laughs> get this ready. section is now sponsored by Letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Start off big. Obviously, the Super Bowl just finished last week from us recording. And obviously, if you know anything about the Super Bowl, they're known for the commercials. There's a bunch of commercial ads coming out. And for us being a movie podcast, there was a lot of movie trailers. So a lot of trailers dropped. Um, one particular that we all knew that was going to drop, um, which is, was highly anticipated, is, of course, Deadpool 3. Mm -hmm. The trailer for that finally dropped. Um, me and Landon spoke about a pre couple episodes talking about <coughs> what we expect from the trailer. Um, yeah, Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought Taylor Swift would be it, but I was right about the runtime. I did say yeah, it, it wouldn't be yeah. six, it wouldn't be sixty seconds. I think because of no, no. Deadpool, I think it'll, be, it'll get a good two minutes. You've got two minutes and, and thirty seconds. To get to get thirty seconds of ad, you have to about get seven, seven million. million. Yeah. No, 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 it's ri it's ridiculous. Like, um, just from an advertising perspective, some big corporate companies have just kind of leached off. Like their strategy is to utilize the big ads as a part of their ad strategy during that period rather than have a big ad themselves. Hmm. But yeah. It works. Because each, um, each company is paying you seven million. Each studio is paying you seven million for like 30 seconds or a minute or whatever. And how many trailers dropped? Like a few trailers dropped. Yeah, there was a few. They ate. <laughs> there was a few. They probably, probably ate more from the ads alone than oh the my God. ticket sales. The Knuckles, the Knuckles trailer. The show, yeah, that looks Bro. Good. Yeah. And then, and then the music. Knuck if, knuck if your buck. Bro, you know, you know the, 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 the one black guy, the one black guy, the production team said, "Hey, hey, hey, hey I got this. <laughs> I know exactly what some to use for this one." <laughs> and I think that was like, this is why you need to have a diverse uh, yeah, yeah, team yeah, within yeah. your board, yeah. because, bro, it's showing. Yeah, it's really sure. showing, and that's I think that. it's very in touch with the audience because that's a big thing that Issa Rae has recently talked about, where uh, executives have just in Hollywood are just so out of touch. Yeah, they don't yeah. really understand the audience. 
Yeah, that's so she great, spoke about how a lot of shows were getting cancelled and that she's looking to possibly go independent and find investors to start her own production. It's 25. Yeah, it's 25. Which, I mean, it doesn't really shock me because I, I used to watch uh, Awkward Black Girl Yeah. back in the day on YouTube. And so she, the only reason why Insecure happened was because she did a web series. So for her to just be like, okay, I'm going to do it independently doesn't surprise me. It's very on brand for her. Um, and I, I'm really excited to see what Same. she's going to do. I'm looking forward to those type of projects. And just going on the back of Issa Rae, um, and even the Super Bowl, the trailers that was dropping through, um, one of the trailers that dropped as well was uh, Monkey Man, which is, what's his name again? Jordan Isn't Peele. It? Jordan Peele Thank producing you. it, and it's um, directed Death and starring... Um, was Dev, Patel. Dev, Dev Patel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I heard, I heard so that's looking quite good. And do you know the backstory behind the whole Monkey Man situation? No. So Dev Patel has actually been training for in martial arts for years to get into like martial art based roles because a lot of people are like, oh, this reminds me of John Wick. But he had actually been training for a couple of years to prepare for this. Mm. And he was getting like, he was struggling to get parts. So he was like, you know what? If you're not going to give me the part, mm. I'm going to write it myself yeah, and then I'm going to direct it. And I'm really excited to see this. Yeah. I even decided the fact that he was Netflix was going to do it. Then Jordan Peele's watched it and said, you know what? I think this will look better as a cinema release and put his backing on it, put his name on it. Sick. And now it's getting a cinema release. So I'm looking forward to that film I'm um, out, out of the mix of the Super Bowl trailers. Um, Which is uh, quite interesting to see as well because we're seeing that huge lean into act excuse me, actors, um, actors leaning into their directorial debuts, particularly yeah. the skin actors, the cast. So we've got Daniel Kaluuya and then Dev Patel. Yeah, 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 so it's, yeah. I think, and also we had George Clooney with That's Boys in the Boat. Skins, boy. Yeah, and Boys yeah. in the Boat as well. Oh, George yeah, Clooney. Yeah, yeah. So we're seeing that huge surge into like director, actors becoming directors and I think now we're gonna yeah. get that good tap of. Is that where is that worrying though? Because yeah, yeah, you're, you're carrying a lot. For for this monkey man, I'm looking forward to it. And the trailer looks quite interesting, but he's he he's writing it, he's starring it, and he's directing it. One of them is gonna get some form of sacrifice in terms of like performance. Someone's gonna get someone's gonna get hit. I don't think so because he's doing it with Monkey Paul's production, and we've already seen that they have done amazing stuff. So it depends on which production house you're with. Yeah, I just feel like people that do multiple stuff, something. I mean, look at Jordan goes Hill. down, but he's yeah, but he's directing and producing. He's not like he's he's not he's not in it. No, he did he did with the Wendell and the the Black Coraline film. Hold Black on. Coraline film. I I, I find it kind of certain that it takes actors to now have to direct their own movies for it us to get something good. Yeah, we can't we can't live in a world where there's good directors and everyone plays a role well, no. I think he's just take a stand and fucking direct their own shit for them to actually get something out of it. These corporations look too much at the analytics and yeah, stuff. Speaking that's of corporations, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, was was it just it just kind of backs off of our con continuous conversation about Issa Rae and executives being yeah. out of touch. Um, yeah, fuck Sony. Sorry, that was rude. Oh, I know you're talking about Black Coraline, that stop motion thing. Yeah, I'm trying though. to find it. In but he's waste, that was waste acting, though. I think that's slightly. Yeah, but they thing. also produced it. That was a Monkey Paws um, production. What, what has Monkey Paws done that I would know? Wendell and Wild. What else have they done? Wendell, and, Wendell Wild, and Wild, that's what it's called. Um, Monkey Paws has done Get Out, um, Us, um, Nope. nope. No. Um, Wendell and Wild, they're now doing mon uh, Monkey Man. No, There's a lot, they've got house. a really large rapport and a lot of it leans into that horror, thriller genre. Oh. Yeah. yeah that's, that's why it's you haven't watched yeah, half of it because, because you're a pussy eye. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> you no bullets in that gun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to Monkey Man. If you haven't yet, check out the trailer because the trailer looks quite interesting. Um, but picking him back, Onto Deadpool three. I'm not sure if you guys seen the trailer for it. Obviously, huh? that was. You have you seen the trailer? I've seen bits of she it. She don't give a fuck about Marvel. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Cried. No, I do. You do. But like, you I want, I want, I want to hear what you guys are saying. <laughs> <laughs> you try to stand no, it up. I want, I want to know. It's two minutes watching now, man. You want to hear your thoughts? Yo, this is the first time in a long time I have rewatched the trailer. I have examined that. Okay. I used to watch. So we're gonna talk about Deadpool three trailer. I enjoy the trailer a lot. Bro, I deep it. Okay, 
but for someone who hasn't watched it, mm-hmm. tell me know. more. What is it that you liked about the trailer? So, me being the Marvel fan I was, was a key word. I used to watch trailers on repeat. I was yeah. genuinely excited. It was one of those things where it's like, I'm really excited for this movie. So any scene, any picture, I want to see it. I want to know every worst movie and when it comes down, it's crazy. I haven't had that in years. The last time I had that was WandaVision. Mm. It's been a while, evidently. So I had that for this Deadpool movie. And I'm, I watched it in the morning. I watched, the first thing I did when I woke up, we watched it. I got oh, sent the link like twice. Yeah, same. I watched, first it, minute, I watched it first week. I, yeah, yeah. I wasn't meant to watch it. <laughs> I was yeah, meant to wait and then watch yeah, it with you. Yeah, yeah. I had to break that promise because I was so excited for it. Yeah. Um, and then I watched it again a couple of days later and then like, I just kept watching it. No, no, not back to back, but like I'll see it and I was oh, I want to watch it again. Yeah, I watched it a few times. I'm saying, and it's like I was genuinely excited about it because it's a movie that I've been anticipating. And the thing about Deadpool or these movies is each one tops the last one. Yeah. Of like the, the crazy meta kind of style they go for and full full breaking all that stuff yeah i don't know what they're going to do for this one same no i idea. think with me is obviously a lot of us don't really know the story so that's the main point of it like i'm a fan of deadpool and i don't know what this what this story is going to lead to i liked um the, obviously marvel spends a lot of money on making good trailers so mm. the structure of the trailer was really good i don't know if i'll continue it's a trailer i think it's more of a teaser because you don't only really get much of the story just yeah, more easter eggs in it you get actually you know, there's a trailer, trailer because there's, there's a premise. Of, but I guess what I like about it is you go, it gets straight in telling you. Actually, I'm gonna take back what I said before. It, it gets straight into telling you what this plot essentially yeah. is leading to, and it's done in a way where it's like it's two minutes and thirty seconds long, but you don't see that much, but you see a lot. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. still ambiguous yeah. enough to keep you engaged. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that's that's that's, a, that's could, a beautiful way to say it. It's like yeah. She's a lyricist, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> MC Maz. What do you think? MC Maz. You're like MC Chicky Chicky Chicky. That's it, that's, that's just like. Inside. 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 <laughs> that's it, that's, 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 that's like, we know what Deadpool is, right? Yeah. So they don't have to put it in our face that they, they didn't even show Wolverine. I think that that's was mad. beautiful. That was I think amazing. It's beautiful that they announced the title of the film. Deadpool and Wolverine, and we didn't even get to see Wolverine. And they, they, they you don't face. even know what he's... I mean, apart from the leaked yeah. pictures and stuff, and yeah. the stuff that they purposely put out, you don't know what his suit looks like. Yeah. Yeah, because if you don't know if that's, that's not that's, the final that's, suit. And you don't... Yeah, exactly. You don't know if that is the consistent suit, or is that just a snippet of... No, because we don't know enough. what Wolverine we're getting. Are we getting Logan Wolverine? Are we getting no, different another not, different it's, it's version of Wolverine? Is he lean? Is he is Is he dench? Is he wham? Yeah, he's wham. He he be working now. He was in um. He, we we got we're gonna get like I think we're getting multiple versions of him because we're getting a version of him in Madripoor yeah. with the eye patch. And the, there was a point. shot of um Deadpool walking to what seems to be a different version of Wolverine. Yeah, so that, down that, 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 I don't even know in um Falcon with Soldier they went to a pla- like a lawless place called Madripoor, right? Yeah. And there's a character arc of Wolverine where he's went there and he's lived there. And he had a name for it. I've got his name. Well, you fell for it. By the way, I did see the trailer. <laughs> really? What, what did you think about the trailer? No. No, I did obviously love it. I think I liked that. Like I said, yeah. it was ambiguous, but it kept oh, changing. That bar was her bar, then. <laughs> <laughs> she be cooking, bro. She... <laughs> you got fools by this one, by the lyricist, by the MC. You got fools. Yeah, it was it was ambiguous and it kept great? you engaged. And I liked the fact that like it felt real and authentic. It didn't feel like it was just being shoved in your face. That it was yeah. a Marvel film because I think a lot of Marvel trailers. The big lean is, oh, it's a Marvel film. And because it's a Marvel film, you should watch it. Mm. Yeah. It was, this is your favourite character. This is why you should lean into it. Yeah, because normally in the Marvel trailers, you get you get the villain. Like, we don't really know who the villain is in this. I guess the TVA is maybe the villain. No, they're, they're, they're not. The but, it's not but they're not. Like, we're just, no, the, 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 main, the main focus is Deadpool is doing Deadpool shit. Bro, can you be honest? I think the, the villain is Disney. Like, n- both... They know and out the movie. I think the movie is, oh, Disney's coming to take over 20th Century Fox. Yeah. So you have to save all the people that you care about before they ruin your universe. Yeah. I think that's the story. And I fucking love it. I think it. so too. So I, I was going to do a, a separate clip, but like, there was a quote that was said in the trailer where um, Ryan Reynolds that plays um, Deadpool, he literally was like, um, he says, um, I'm the Messiah. No, um, I'm, I'm the, Marvel, Marvel Jesus. Jesus. And obviously, a lot of us is Deadpool just making funny jokes. But do you think that's like a direct hit or like a comment on the 
the so, the status of Marvel right now where Always. he believes I think that so. I know not, that my film is what's going to bring, yes. quote, possibly bring Marvel back onto yes. the map. This is, it's not so at all. It's, it's, in making, your, no, it's, it's, not, it's making it clear that, you know, very, I'm, I'm saving you, motherfuckers. No, no, and it's very interesting as well because he had a lot of influence in the script and the directing yeah. of the storyline. And blood. That's the thing I'm going to I saw blood. Oh, it, was, it was still animated blood, but... Yeah, blood, yeah. Blood I is saw, blood. I saw blood. No, but, but blood, no. Firstly, blood is inevitable. But secondly, you don't get as no, much really. blood. No, really. I think... In Deadpool. It just... Def- we, yeah, we, but we, they there, was, there was a huge... Um, before the, uh, we knew that much about the film, there was a huge thing about would this film be rated 18? It was always going to be rated 18. I, I don't think it was... I it think, was always going to be rated I think 18. Disney had a lot of means of discussing should we rate this 18? No, it was never... Deadpool what and Wolverine. What are you talking about? Bruv! Look at the way Disney have turned around and made li- little kids. Love and, love and thunder. Love and thunder. Love and thunder. Yes, love and thunder. Man gave his powers to a bear, a teddy bear, and he went, ah. No, no, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you did that. <laughs> what were you? <laughs> that is nuts, bro. No, it's Deadpool, I'm saying. No, I don't give a fuck about Disney. Disney know that no, but this it's, is the dumbest thing they've ever done. I'm just saying, I'm sure Disney. there was a lot of talks about. And with Disney's influence and how they're trying to put the trajectory, which is quite obvious they're trying to tap into younger audience so then even yeah. they grow up saying oh my god i love marvel mm. but like the youngest audience and it's not working no they, they, they definitely had yeah. conversations that they probably tried their best to try to figure out a way for this to work pg but they come to the realization that we all knew at the beginning that it was never going to work it was never going to work i think yeah, because i think it was more of a like but anyone was like yeah let me i've got this yeah, like the past see. two films did Decent. Really? They did More decent. than decent. It was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Okay, two, I can't say two, it did fantastic. But two, Compared two, two, to Disney, it did decent for them to go, okay, yeah. we can consider making this 18. Deadpool 2 came out at the same, around the same time as the And I World think World. also... And they worked with low budgets as well. It's the, really the interesting to see how Disney is now kind of leaning to, okay, maybe we are, we should just continue focusing on older, older audiences because we got Echo, which had yeah. a very, like, rough yeah. trailer. Was that, and was now that, we're getting... Yeah. Was it good? It was decent. It was mid. Okay, was but mid. like, we've got, we've got, it had a very, like, you had a death scene in a trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, yeah. here we've got blood in yeah. a trailer. Yeah. So. Super Bowl trailer as well. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah. 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 And of course, trailers, that all trailers are not going to be as graphic as the actual movie, right? It's just. Yeah. I mean, it was blood, but it felt very. Yeah, because it's YouTube. Because it was minute. still like. Yeah, it's YouTube is easy, easily accessible, right? Easy. Like, but I, I still appreciate it. Um, I do have some notes l- laid down here. I think we already spoke about who do you think will appear in the film, but... Um, do me. Uh, no, do me. Who's do me again? Do me. Dr. Doom. Oh. Do me. Dr. Doom, Dr. Doom, Dr. Doom. That clip did amazing. Do you, do you think Dr. Doom... I don't think he's going to appear in there, but... We're going to talk about Fantastic Four later on, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about Fantastic Four later on. But we do know the X-Men is coming. The X-Men, the X-Men is here. <laughs> I fucking hate that trailer. Do you, do you think Marvel, I put this on a post and Aladdin said a big in capital letters, no, but do you think <laughs> do you think Marvel will do a good job with, with the X-Men now that it seems like nope. they have arrived? Nope. I, I want to be hopeful. Oh, gee. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I, w- I want I to be hopeful. Hopeful. Oh, you want to be hopeful? But oh, sorry, I no. want to be, but I am a hesitant. Okay. Um, and I think the fact that they've leaned into the 99 version of the X Men, nice. oh, okay. like late 80s, 99, yeah. 1990s X Men TV animation version, shows that they're scared and trying to go through for a more like reliable source so they know that oh, okay older older audiences are gonna mess with it oh, yeah, younger see, audiences good. are gonna really like it yeah yeah it's yeah. a good approach to be fair yeah i don't like that trailer are we, do we talk about the trailer or? well the x so there's a, a trailer right now for x-men 97 this is an animation version of the x-men um i can't remember when the original x-men animation style i think it was just called x-men the animation tv I show think it, i think it was in the 80s let me double check real quick i yeah. don't like the animation so style. they're bringing it back and they can literally continue it from the last episode um aladdin just said he does not like it i don't like the animation style you don't like the animation it looks style? Like a very but... lazy invisible it looks like whoever made invisible I hear it. uh apprentice I, I was right. Old. I, hear it. I hate myself. I was actually right, and I doubted myself for a second. Nineties. Don't you ever doubt yourself. Yeah, it man. started off in the nineties, <laughs> and then ninety-seven. Oh god, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're bringing it back. Um, 
Ali's not fucking with it. I ain't like. I'm happy with it. I feel know? like. Looks, I feel like. Cheap, man. No, I feel like you feel like it's an animation style that you're not used to, and so it makes you uncomfortable. No, but no. the original one is better than this dog shit. This dog shit just has it's a nice animation colors. style. The original animation, better, original it? animation style for X, X Men and Spider Man, the animated series, are way better than this. We have to come with the times, innit? The times are different now, so no, I guess. No, 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 no. This, in terms of, th- this looks cheap. The only thing that's good about it compared to the original is the colours are brighter. Mm. But everything about the animation style is cheap as hell. Even that shot of Wolverine walking with Gambit on his back, it just looks choppy. Yeah. It looks like a shitty Invisible. Yeah, 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 I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, Compared yeah, to Invisible, yeah. like, on a cheap pop-up, like, it. look at Invincible, look at this one, and then you see the similarity, but there's a noticeable difference. And that probably being, these lot care, they don't. And it's a cheap or cash grab. different budgets. But then also, it's quite interesting to have that conversation which i kind of shared in the group chat so i'm going to put some context where we had seen a t- i'd seen a tiktok and they were saying a lot of people particularly the new marvel stuff in phase four they haven't gone back to the sources no they're oh fucking that oh please do play that clip what's oh, that so upset. what clip's that the one where um i the, shared it and they were like interviewing can. each different one so it was eternals the Marvels, all of them. All uh, phase four, phase five. most of Phase Four, they hadn't when it when the question came up of, oh, so like in refer in reference to the actual sources, how have you put the approach into the storyline? And the key thing was that oh, they, oh, didn't. they didn't. Fuck. I no, watched no. that ball. Oh, but that's the thing. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put in a, I'll put in a clip so everyone it's can so see it. But okay. that's the thing about that in memory of a lot of the Marvel directors. It doesn't it doesn't know me about super old directors in general. Like a lot of them never actually are fans of the actual source material, and they just no. Phase one from three, they were. John Watts was. Uh, okay. uh, uh, the Russos were big fans. They wanted to do secret work. But the thing is, that's the ones that you can you see the Josh work Sweden. and you can see yeah. that okay, they actually find like a James Gunn. But then the ones you've seen that are kind of like, because a lot of times what Marvel does is they get directors that are small time that have done like small films and whatnot and give them these big budgets because it's easy for them to kind of control them a little bit more. You know, Kenneth more. Branagh directed the first four movies. Who? Kenneth Branagh. Kenneth Branagh. The the the, the villain in Tenet. Russian guy. Oh. Hey, he directed, he directed the first, the first four. four. Yeah. Okay. So but I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I thought it was a director it's when I watched it. It's gone left. Hmm? <laughs> My mind has went left now. Um, <laughs> that's, that's similar. The, the, Again, phase actor, one actor three. director turnover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But I said, like, phase Idiot. one through three, I can list your bag of uh, directors because I know they're all passionate about what they do. Yeah. I can't name any, any phase four or five actor, uh, directors other than the ones I already know of. Fair enough. The Russo is cut at the perfect time. Yeah. Wheaton cut a bit early, but he was still really, really good at what he does. Yeah. Uh, Gunn got kicked out and he came back in just for one movie to get his bag. Yeah. And he went to DC. Would no one survived? Maybe John, John Watts is the only one that survived. Oh, he left though. Is he, is he left the Spider-Man franchise? I mean, he was meant to do Fantastic Four, but he, and he left. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. Even even Peyton he said Reed, he's tired of doing Super. Peyton Reed busts out as well. Payton Reed did um, Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Yeah, he needs to kick out for him. That, was, a, that was probably the worst um, superhero trilogy. No, no, no. The second one Ant-Man's the worst superhero trilogy. Or, or four. No, okay, no, no. Four, four, four. Let's four, 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 let's four, 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 four was four, four, was four one and two. Oh, what was it? Was it what was it? Um, Man, the Rock was good. Ragnarok no, no. I'm not mad three. at two. The trilogy. Two is good. I like two a lot. I'm not mad at two. The trilogy, great. That yeah. last one. You know why I'm not mad at two no more? Because I like that four. Yes. I don't like, the, I don't like the villain too much. The story kind of iffy, but it was a good yeah. four. I like the Loki. That's the, that's I prime Loki as well. I really like that Loki. That Loki was good as well. That Loki is bad. So I'm not mad at it. But yeah, we're going all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah Deadpool 3 is coming out. Um, July. Don't know what date in July, July but it's coming June. out. It's going to be... It said July, if I remember. June. Maybe, yeah, it's, it's, maybe June. it's June. I don't know. No, you're thinking of Spider-Man. What's Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Yeah, it's the 25th of July. It's dropping. Who's, 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 what's Spider-Man coming out in June? What's Spider-Man? I don't know. But anyway, we've got a bunch of uh, other stuff that <laughs> dropped in terms of... So, you guys all excited for Deadpool 3 then coming out? Yeah, but I'm more excited this for summer. what you're about to show me. <laughs> what's Spider-Man's coming out in okay, June? Okay, I'm going to go through... What's Spider-Man Lotus? <laughs> you know what that is? What yeah, the hell yeah, is I that? Know, Spider-Man Lotus. Spider-Man Lotus? We spoke about last time. That's a whole thing. Okay, the, the other trailers that dropped as well during the Super Kingdom Bowl... Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. That was a good one. Yeah. I like that one. Oh, at... of course you like that one. <laughs> oh, fuck off, man. See. So we have that. We have Wicked, 
that um is a musical that's coming out um okay so that's that that's leaned towards me as a theater kid i'm quite excited to see that oh really uh bruv we're you? talking i here. find out well you go the I'm adults are talking <laughs> sure, sure. <Mom>. <laughs> <laughs> um, and i think i'm really excited to see it because while it like kind of they had kind of changes um more particularly because the female lead actually because it's di- she was she's a diverse character yeah they didn't make her wear black straight wig like oh, yeah. straight hair wig she had braids bro oh was it i didn't i don't think i watched clips on the trailer i didn't see the full trailer um and it was it's interesting to see the casting of it you know ariana grande very much into it and everyone's kind of talking about the controversy behind the background but mm. it's got a strong cast but will it be executed well i don't know no so um, you're kind of like i i want to i want to see what happens but because we've got a few we've got a few like theater trained people on screen who oh, have on screen okay. experience yeah. yeah which is great but i want to see if it translates it well, well yeah. in film you know i want to ask you about this because it seems to be a recurring thing that's going on especially with musicals it seems like musicals, movies, like cinematic uh, musicals, don't actually put musical in their title anymore. So a lot of films come out and people are watching it and not mean realizing it's a mean. <laughs> so Mean Girls is not is one. Wicked is just coming out. It's just called Wicked. So but, you never know. It's but a no, musical. but the thing is, and that's I think there was another one that came out recently. Maestro. It's, master, no, it's, not musical, really. it's not a musical. There was another one. But it skipped my mind. But, but it I seems think like it's a recurring thing with now. Wicked, it's Wicked. You already know it's going to be a musical. It's like The Wizard yeah. of Oz. Yeah. You already know it's a musical. Yeah, I hear it. If you live in London, I But that stuff that... But I'm, I'm, I think I'm looking more into the ones that are like... Like Mean Girls. Like Mean Girls should have said musical on there. A lot of people didn't know it was going to be a musical and was quite shocked that these people just randomly start singing. You watched it, you didn't watch it, did you? <laughs> no, did you not see the TikToks of every time they started singing, people in the audience going, oh... <laughs> I it's think, I think if it's a musical, you have to put down, in brackets, it's a musical. No, the trailer is fine, actually. But even then... Yeah, but the trailer, they didn't, the trailer didn't have no music in it. Mm. It didn't have no musical scenes there was in no, it. There was no sentiment to highlight yeah. it. Was I saw two music parts when I watched that movie. It was awful as fuck. Yeah. It just came out of nowhere. There was... Oh, bro. I don't know what that was. But yeah, um, besides that, the number one is The Four Guy. I think we spoke about Four Guy. It has mm-hmm. um, Ryan Gosling in there as oh, well. Oh, there's no trailer Emma, for that Emily Barnes. Barnes. There's a trailer for that. He dropped oh, on, yeah, dropped on Super, Bowl, Super Bowl trailer. It came out before the Super Bowl. But Wait, you haven't seen Super it? Bowl. I've seen the first one, the, original, the first trailer. I see there's a new, new one. Yeah, there's a new one for it. Ooh, and Twisters, good. which is a sequel to The Cow. Yeah. The Cow's back. <laughs> <laughs> with, Glenn, um, with Glenn, Glenn Powell. Glenn Powell. Powell. Yeah, yeah Glenn anyone Powell. but you, Glenn Powell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make a trailer sequel to yeah, He looks like he's going to be like the new Tom Cruise or something, bro. Right. No, yes. Top Gun, anyone yeah. but you. Yeah, he's yeah. really leaned into that. Hey man. Wait, wait, Glenn, Glenn Powell He's had a good looking guy, man. I can't lie, man. Wait, Glenn Powell had his face bashed into a table by Bane in Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, I didn't know. I had know no idea, that. you know. Yeah, I didn't know that. He was the guy in front, there's no money here, so why is everybody here? And yeah, he smashed his face on the wall. It was fucking lit. And also <laughs> That's his claim to fame. Um, <laughs> if as well, which um with Ryan Gosling as well. Are you gonna watch it? What's if I said I might remind me of the imaginary friends. Um his imaginary friends. Very so this girl has a bunch of... She can now see everyone else's imaginary friend. Mm. And they're trying to help her with some shit, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's it, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's the plot to any... To any it's meant to be like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, but the film. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen it. It's Ryan Reynolds. I like the Adam Project. I like the uh, uh, Free Guy. Yeah. I, see, I think this is one of those ones. One of those yeah, it's one of those like weird family films. But yeah, that's, that's coming out. Um, outside the Super Bowl, we've got... The more superhero nudes. Sorry, people, if you don't like superhero stuff. Sorry. Um, we've got finally the announcement of Fantastic Four. It's finally being announced. It's funny enough, we already knew about this because these leaks were out like months ago. And we talked about the cast as well. Yeah, so, we so about, uh, it's literally the same Kirby? people. We miss, huh? Did we talked about Vanessa Kirby. Yeah, we mentioned her. Did we? Yeah. So we Vanessa Kirby. We literally talked about this ages ago. I wasn't there. So the casting is Vanessa Kirby is going to be a visible woman. Um, if you don't know her, she's in a Mission Impossible series. Is what I know her from. She's in Napoleon as well. Well, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. She played. Fast she Fast played. Oh, um, oh, yeah. Josephine in, in yeah. Napoleon. Josephine. Yeah. Yeah. Then we got um, we got Joseph Quinn. Quinn. He's in. He's playing, He's gonna be playing the Human Torch. Well, I know from yeah, he's from Stranger Things. I don't think I know him from anything else. He's gonna be in Quiet Place Day One, which I'm looking forward to for this year. Um, and we got our guy Daddy. from the Sorry. Bear. 
Oh, 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 oh. You said for us. Cousin. Sorry. Cousin. No, you said for us. Cousin. Cousin. You've got to anticipate them. You've got to tease them. They yeah. already know it's oh, sorry, daddy. Sorry, Come sorry, on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Before it was officially announced, I was really hoping for him to be the thing because I, th- I yeah. could see him oh, doing, yeah, yeah. playing the thing, especially the voice. And also his yeah. his yeah. his anger range. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's, yeah. Perfect. he's gonna yeah. be angry. Yeah. <laughs> I I liked him so much in Andor, man. Andor was amazing. Yeah, it was good. It was so good. And of course, we've got Pad, um, Pedro, Pedro Pastel playing Daddy. Mr. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'll be real with you. I'm, if, I'm happy with this casting, but I'm not too happy with Pedro. Why no? not? What's wrong with Papi Chulo? <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. Why do you do this? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna enjoy it, but I would have preferred someone else. They need to do some serious. I, it makeup. feels it feels very lazy getting him because they know he's just gonna bring. Yeah. He's just gonna. Bring I would have liked it if they got someone because everyone else on this list, they're like somewhat newcomers. They ain't part of that much. They are part of a couple mm. of franchises to be fair. I but won't lie. Everyone knows Pedro. Pedro. I mean, that's why you casted him, but... No, but they could do some serious... They could do some stuff to make him a bit, like, non unrecognizable. Yeah, that's... I think that's what it is. Maybe that. I've, we've seen him already in The Last of Us and other franchises as well. Like, if you've seen him in Narcos... Kingsman. Was he King, Kingsman? Nar- yeah. Nar- Narcos. Nar- 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 Narcos oh. as well. Narcos. As like... There's too much franchises. Now you put him into the Marvel franchise as a, as a lead Bro, person. He's Mr. Fantastic, franchise. which is... Now that um, Tony Stark is dead... Um, he will be essentially the new. He, he was always the smartest person. Yeah, the smartest person in the universe. So he'll be the, he'll be that, and it's like, oh, okay, he's in another franchise, which it sounds like hate. But I, if he looks completely different than the other characters he's been so in, your problem then is his face. I'll be like his yeah, face. No, much. but also, but what I don't also, like is that I've seen him so much stuff. Yeah. Now I'm gonna see him again. He does, but in certain, he does do that thing where he almost transforms his face quite frequently really? in different characters. I think I you're thinking seen of... That in, no, I think, no. I think you're Well, if he's going to get his little, that grey thing that Mr. Fantastic always has. No, but when he was in... Um, when that's he was in, me, man. Change your voice. No, your voice has to change. Yeah, that's not... Well, he's going to be fucking Spanish. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic Spanish. Yeah. No, that's not... Diversity. Um, hmm? <laughs> Diversity. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Quarter. Um, so he's been in he's Star Wars, Last of Us, DC, uh, Marvel. What else is he in? Kingsman. Kingsman. Fucking hell. Um, in, 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 uh, in Wonder Woman 987. Yeah, he was, he, was comple- different. he was completely different. different. That was slightly different, yeah. So also, you can do it. in Kingsman as well, he was quite different from that character too. Yeah. He was a villain, but you didn't expect him to be a villain. Yeah, fair enough. There's fair no enough. doubt in him being a great actor. That's That's inevitable. It's just, I don't want to see Pedro Pascal. I want to see... Someone else. I, the same I way I see... The... I saw Tony Stark when I watched Oppenheimer. Do you know what? I don't what? want that again. I mm. don't want to see Joseph Quinn as the Human Torch. Oh. I'm sorry. No, I'm you're sorry. Bugged still. I'm what? sorry. I think that... I, think, I ain't gonna lie. No. Besides my little hate on Pedro on this, even though I don't really hate him, but I hate him for this. Right, I think this is really good casting. I think they could have done someone else. Personally... Who? I don't know who. I can't uh, put my no number. Just, you don't want to say no names. I'm not, I can't put, <laughs> no. no, it's <laughs> not him. Names. It's not him. Shut up. Shut up. Stop it. I'm not blushing. Shut up. <laughs> you made a black woman blush. God damn. <laughs> no, 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 I'm being serious because in the sense that I don't know who to cast, but I just don't think... Get Chris Evans again. For, for like, the human torch needs to be... Who is he? Get Chris Evans again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would do it again. Do it again. You just see me. You need someone young. You need someone young, man. Three tickets. One, two, three. Just me. Nah, that's legs so spread it. The human torch is known for being very childish. Yeah, no, I know, but I need some. Yeah, with that, he also needs to be very charming. Ah, mm. oh, it's hate. Not hate. That's just rude. Is it? <laughs> oh, it's no, buzz. No, it's no, it's mad. Someone, someone literally said on. I think it was on Twitter. I wish I screenshotted it to show on the screen, but. They literally were like, oh, so we're no, we're no longer casting someone good looking for the human torch. I was like, ah. No, because, no, no, no. Ah. But the thing is, like. He's not bad looking. He's not bad looking, but you know when you need to be but, like yeah, really human smooth torch is and meant witty. To be, like, and like, he's, he's, a, he's the epitome of an F-boy. I want yeah, a I proper agree. F-boy. Yeah, he's hot. He's you think hot. he's going to be an F-boy? Nah, he'll be a soft boy. But he, he can do it. Nah, he can do it. I can see him do it. Nah. They change his look. Get a little muscle, do a little slip back hair. You know He can do it, man. He's an actor, Bombastic stuff. Anyway, I'm happy for him because he got spoiler, he got killed in um, Stranger Things, oh, and I really liked him in Stranger Things, and I want to see his career grow because I think he's a good actor. So I'm happy that he's, he's got this role, and I think I see him potentially get body in this character. What I'm saying is, is Will, Will Porter used to be that guy. Just saying, just saying, just saying. That's true. The glow up. 
Just saying. We love a we love a good blow up. Um, but just going off of that, going off the casting of uh, Fantastic Four, <laughs> of course, now that we spoke, we spoke <laughs> about Deadpool <laughs> 3. <laughs> so in Deadpool 3, obviously, there was a little um, Easter egg in Deadpool and Deadpool 3 trailer. Oh, and also, we've got Fantastic Four coming out as well. So we yeah. know that potentially Doctor Doom will be coming. So I wanted to you know uh, Mark, to oh, you guys. Sorry, I don't like this costume, by the way. Okay, sorry. Sorry, uh, I fucking hate this costume. Why do you hate this costume? It's the same thing I said about Killian Murphy as Doctor Doom. I would love to see Killian Murphy as Doctor Doom. Don't see him in MCU. So you just don't like Marvel? I just don't trust him. I don't trust him to... Eternal... But, but you trust Deadpool 3? Deadpool 3 is not Marvel Studios to me. Dead, but it is Marvel it's Studios. Not Marvel Studios. It's not Marvel Studios to you, but it is Marvel Studios. But it's not Marvel Studios, Marvel Studios. It's, it's kind of stu- no, but it's, it's like... Marvel Studios. It's still no, Marvel Studios. It's not Marvel Studios. It's, like, it's, like, it's not... M- mm. Like I said, it's in the trailer, your... it's not Marvel. Yeah, it's, it's Marvel Studios. No, it is Marvel. No, but what you mean by no, that is like they're not screaming it in your face that it's Marvel. Oh, yeah, but they're heavily... <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. No, but... <laughs> But yeah, but, but, but they're patty and so wings and potato fries. <laughs> She's sweet to both sides. No, but it's not. It's not heavily, heavily, heavily. It's not heavily what like. What the fuck was that? Wait, <laughs> man, wait, sorry. Man, what? The these words. <laughs> it's not like micromanaged. Damn, I really missed him up today, didn't I? <laughs> it's not micromanaged by Marvel Studios. But it is. It's not micromanaged by Marvel Studios. <sighs> it's, it's a mic- Marvel. Studios just because the name is on it. Oh, Marvel Studios. But that's enough. Morbius. That's enough to. T- Huh? An association with Spider Man doesn't mean they're influenced. They, they, they That's have... different. That if you said that was uh, well, let's not, not Marvel speak about Studios, that now. then, then yeah, Marvel about that paid now. for it, but they didn't make it. See what I'm saying? They made everything else, but they didn't make this. I Ryan made, made this, this. The director. I, I think they didn't make this. I think Deadpool three is gonna be a big um, change of story Maybe. for for Marvel, and that means that their foot is all the way up its ass of this film, making it making it a Marvel Studios production. Okay, we'll find out. Marvel Studio production. It's gonna be the same thing as um, Guardians of the Galaxy. James Gunn. Okay, we is our thing. But we we'll give you a little bit of creative control. A little bit. Yeah. No, everyone yeah, else got a little yeah, bit. So. They got a lot of it. Who? Gunn and 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 Ryan. They getting a lot okay, of creative cool. control. But, and you and Ant Man got a little bit. I'm comparing Deadpool three to Guardians of the Galaxy, where it's like it's still Marvel Studios. The the foot is up. Yeah, its they, ass, no, there's no foot. You can still do your thing. There's no foot. It's they paid for it. Okay, we're stretching this conversation. They, they, but anyway, what was, now we don't know what we're talking about. What are we talking about again? Doom. Man. Yeah, oh, Doom, Doom. You didn't like the costume. I don't like the costume. And you hate it because, it, because it's Marvel. I just don't know. Look, I like Bessie Kirby. I like Eben Moss Barry. Bar- 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 yeah, Bar- I can never read a third one. That last name is difficult. Um, Joseph Quinn. Bash Rat? No. Yeah, Joseph Quinn, I look at him and think I can see him as a, as a torch. Same. I see him as a, as a young reporter. Same. So if you, feel like, if you feel like if Marvel was not I think they could have just got If the band were on the side. Boston not right now. So it's but more no. of that Marvel has failed you. Yeah, and now you, you, just, you don't trust it. Yeah. I think they'll do I think they'll do right with this, you know. I think they've learned from the mistakes in the past films and they realised that they that um, they're losing money from these these last couple of films. Good. They have to make a change right now for for the next couple of ones. Good. So yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, like as well as writing for them. So I like to think there's pressure on them to make sure this film does well. And by the oh, casting, it gives me so that. The director, everyone liked Wonder Vision. He's behind this. I think he'll do a good job of it as well. Oh, yeah. The Wonder Vision, he fucked up it, didn't he? But I think that end part was... Yeah, really but that's, just, that's, that's Marvel. That, that was Marvel. That, that was Marvel. That was Marvel. Okay, so if they do that again... I don't this, think they'll do that again. You don't I think, think so. Marvel just fucks up TV shows because they just limited TV shows. But I think we're, we're going all over the place right now. But in terms of that, you don't like the casting. We'll, we'll see how it goes with that. But oh, in terms okay. of that, Doctor Doom, um, I think he's going to be the new big bad. Um, do you guys have any like actors good. that you feel like should play Dr. Oh, Doom? Oh, Killian Murphy, I understand. He'll be on him. Fantastic. Doctor. Are you ready right oh, for Killian Murphy? Yeah, Killian Murphy. Oh, what's um? There is talks about um just getting a voice actor. Uh, actually, the, yeah, the, like we don't have. It's gonna be very like Doctor, not Doctor Doom. I'm um, Darth Vader. There's talks about doing <sighs> Darth Vader. Darth Vader, like we have, we have someone play Do- man, Doctor Doom. But we just have someone voice over. So a vo- person voice over would not be the person. Would it be? Would, would, would it be more Vader? Or would it be more Mando? But Vader is the same thing. No, because Mando is more like you see his face every now and again. Oh no, no. Vader, you don't see him ever. It will be Vader, because Doctor Doom doesn't really take, never takes that shit off. Yeah, but we need an origin, no? Or are we gonna go straight into his? Uh... I don't know. Probably, probably not. But to be fair, we didn't get a fan. Ah, uh, you might have to tip close that window though. Still. Steaming, man. Where's the wood? Look, Doom would be sick. I would love to see Doom. I don't know much about Doom's people, people, no. 
I know he owns. Um, I think we get backstory. So it seems like this film might be set in a certain time frame. It looks like it might be set in, in the 1960s. Um, that, that I'm excited. So I think that would be quite interesting. And I mean, it's quite good because the director had previously done Wonder Vision, so he excelled in trying to create yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. that aesthetic. Type of, that you type of film. Yeah, I did. Just That's cool. I'm cook, so man. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I've t I'm really tired. It's kicked in. That's why you know, I was half a side sidetrack. I, I cannot wait to clip that video of, of Maz not deep me saying brother stuff. I'm gonna show I'm gonna show I'm gonna show the uncut version of it at some point. I'm I'll have it on so me. I'll have tired, it on me. But guys. I'll, I'll show it later. Like, but yeah, you are right though. I think he's I think it's in good hands and I think it'll do a good job. Um I don't know. I like so I be, when I used to be a big Mo fan, I'd watch a lot of like, oh, here's a that close. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really loud. Um, I like uh, I watched film I watched uh, videos where they talk about how oh here's here's my fan uh, plot for this movie and this movie and this movie. Two of them was uh, Deadpool saves the Marvel universe, where he goes around um, different Fox properties and kind of saves them from Disney. That was one of them oh. potential, and the second one was um, Fantastic Four being set in the sixties, which is obviously where they debuted in the comics. Um, and there will be a thing where it ends, where they go into something and they come out in the, in the, in the present day. That was another yeah, fan. Yeah, there was a talk that they would be stuck in the quantum realm. Is quantum or is it the, the, the thing zone? What's called the certain zone? The negative zone. Maybe, yeah. That's what it is, yeah. So, that's then, the, the, these sort of fan, fan, fan plots and just come to fruition and it's fucking great. When I was yeah. before, I loved it. So, I'm excited for the 60s, um, 60s version. Yeah, just to backtrack on the villains. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two potential actors that they're thinking of. Henry. Oh, Doom? Mm -hmm. Nope. Who's Henry? Oh. Henry Cavill. Ah! I don't like that one. Ah! I don't I think that, he'll be... Just give me the body. Yeah? Pause, but just give, me the, just give me the body. I don't, I don't want to hear oh. it. Oh. Doom isn't wham, though. <laughs> just give me the, the figure. Whoa. Oh, the figure. Whoa. Whoa. But Doom isn't wham, though. Or if it is, we would never know it. No, he is how, Wham. How did his body mask, mask and, and body? You finally got your Wham radar. No, 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 see, no, he no. is Wham. Insert yeah, no, image. No, Insert no, image. No, but that's the thing. Wham. Yeah, Wham. Doom never, Wham. You never, uh, that's the bodysuit. You, so, you would never see yeah, Doom but, with, a mar with a helmet and, and, and skin. Yeah, but the, yeah. you don't need to show skin. You don't need to show skin because you'd be wearing the but suit. But this is not a, 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 a spandex. Well, you think, you, think, you think CGI won't work? This ain't spandex. This is metal. Yeah, but CGI that's exists Are you going to see muscles through metal? <laughs> what is super <laughs> that's, that's, that's No, no, the idea of someone stretching is, is believable. But, but I, really do, I, do, I don't think I don't think his acting style would work for this. It would be trash. It would be trash. It'd be so crazy. Trash. Don't even talk, bro. Don't even talk. Don't so talk, so you like him as a, as a as a stunt double? Um, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, so the other one no. is Killian, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll take Killian all day. Yeah, Killian would be. Good. I'll take him. I'm watching Peaky Blinders, so I'm, I'm, I'm in love with him right now. Fair enough. Yeah, I think he'll be good. I think he'll, I think he'll do it. I think there's talks about him possibly doing it as well. So well, we'll see. Thing, but right? I'm, I'm personally looking forward to Fantastic Four. I like the casting of it. I'm questioning Pedro, but he'll, I'm pretty sure he'll do a good job. So yo, watch this. I'll make a statement here and now. Yeah, right now the MCU is in the fucking dirt, right? I'm not saying they can't save it, but if they successfully save this universe in, in the next couple of years, oh my, I'll be the biggest fanboy ever. What would you do? I'll oh, to do a thing. No, if, if they, if they say, oh yes, let's do a thing. <laughs> now you're awake. Oh. Now you're awake. So funny, I I, I'll, do, I'll do a thing, but I'm just letting you not know. To save this. <laughs> you're about to make me act too. <laughs> um, if they save this, this would be one of the most impressive uh, you gotta do drag. Who? You gotta do drag. What's a drag? Just a black woman. You gotta do drag. The whole drag. As a, as, as 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 a female Marvel character. Ooh. Oh, Wonder Vision. Wonder. <laughs> okay, no, bet. Oh, cool. okay, bet. Say that, say that. Okay, no, bet. Okay, no, bet. No, 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 no. That was a joke. That was a joke. No. Wait, no. Because you said you'd do anything. Yeah, you did. No, no, no. no. I said I'll do a thing. Rewind the tape. I said I'll do a thing. Yeah, that is That's a thing. thing. Not anything. A particular thing. That's the thing. But thing. Trying, I'm not saying they can't do it. I'm not saying that they can't. No, you're blacking it now. I'm not saying it. You you don't hear it. No, shut up. <laughs> I'm not saying they can't fix it. They can't save it. Yeah. Pussy. <laughs> Why do I wait? I wait for you. I wait for you. Like, this good. Okay, no. I'm not saying they can't do it. But I'm saying if they do, it's like, it's like now they have all the toys. You know what I'm saying they didn't have all the toys back in the day, and they still made it work. 
Now they have all the toys. And if they make it work, I'll, I'm fucking... I'm back in, 100% committed. I'm buying the Blu-rays again. I'm buying the this and that. Yeah. I'll do a thing if you don't want me to do a thing. We're not that. But what's, what's the, what's, what, is, what would be the thing that makes you go, okay, they're back? If Deadpool does, but I think Deadpool. Deadpool's yeah, gonna, gonna do. do. What what's the film afterwards? So next year, I believe we're, we're getting a lot of Marvel films next year. I'm not sure if uh, Blade will still be coming out next year, but there's talks mm. about um, Captain America Four is gonna be so, dropping. So, so that's that's how you do it. the boats. If those two films do no, well, no, no, the way you do it is and Fantastic Four. So you, you stick film next year. You stick to know. you stick to and Spider Man uh, Four as well. You stick to already established. That's not Marvel though. Spider Man is Marvel. It's not Marvel. Spider Man's more Marvel than Deadpool. Into, like it's more Marvel Studios. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. But but digress. You focus on already established characters. The problem with Phase Five, Four, and Five is just introducing new characters and just putting them in the back. Man, you're prolonging it, fam. Just tell me what film moment makes you realize you're That's it. It's back. just if you focus on them and make and make individual stories. How much stories, good films need you see for you to go? Oh, how many films? Back? Yeah. It can be one. I'll be real. It can be one very. Is good Deadpool three one of them? No, no, not Deadpool. So right after that. Yeah. If Thunderbolts is good, you got in the back. If Thunderbolts was great. It has to be a very particular kind of good for me to buy. Right, what about two goods? Like, yeah, what about, what about two goods? Hmm? Two goods. Thunderbolt's good. Captain America's good. Yeah. No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm one foot in. Cool. You hear it here first. You hear it here first. You heard it here first. There you go. <laughs> I'll do a thing. Think Trust. of a different thing. <laughs> you don't address as, as Wonder Woman. You literally said it. You picked her as well. I said it because it was funny. <laughs> Oh, we wasn't laughing, bro. Who was dead ass? <laughs> <laughs> Who was dead ass? I was already do- thinking about makeup loads. <laughs> makeup? <laughs> I'll do, I'll do, I'll do Mrs. 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 Invisible Woman. Do do the Marvels or something, man? Do a film. Do one of those Marvel films. Uh, I'll find a wear a scarf. Miss Marvel, uh, uh, Marvel would not it? I'll do a scarf or some shit. I need to learn and how, how to do. I need to learn how to do hijab. You like wearing tight stuff, anyway. So wear this the the tight latex suit, isn't it? I don't think. I don't oh, think no. that. I don't. We'll have to like pixelate particular areas. Oh yeah. <laughs> that bulge. Uh, he better hold it for bulge, you know. <laughs> no, don't, don't look at me and say that, bro. <laughs> don't look at me and say that. Anyway, eye to eye. Alright, cool, man. We're, we're going to digress in. Okay, we're going to get into the main topic of the day, unless you guys have any more new stuff you wanted to l- let people know about. What, what, what's, what's cooking? What's the sauce? <laughs> so what, we've got what's, what's the big um, talk with the Sidemen. Mm-hmm. So if you guys don't know, Sidemen is a YouTube group. Um, with a collective of big YouTubers. Um, one of the biggest ones pretty much everyone knows about is KSI. He's part of, of the collective. We've got a bunch of their products laying around here. We are not sponsored by them in no shape or form. But what else if you do, though? We do. We do appreciate their work and their work ethic no, and everything they put into it. But they recently dropped a documentary on Netflix, basically telling the story of the Sidemen and their and the YouTube journey. Um, I think we've all seen it. Maz, have you seen it? I've seen chunks of it and I still have my like points that's enough. That that's I enough say. for us. Enough that's enough for <laughs> us. <laughs> so the documentary is all out on Netflix. I do encourage people to, to give it a watch, especially if you're interested in YouTube. If you want to be a YouTuber, I think it's great to watch something like that. It um, gives you a little bit of background knowledge of how they came up and really inspire you to uh, change stuff around in terms of how you want to be a, a YouTuber. But um what are you guys' thoughts about the, the documentary? What well, do you for think for starters, about? I would I would have preferred this to be a series. Because well, I, I agree. More. I would have loved it. My first, I think halfway through, halfway through, I was like, I loved it. They did like a three part, a uh, six event episode, and each one was like categorized to a certain yeah. main focus. Because there were certain plots that I was like, oh, let's stay on this a little bit longer. Mm. But then it went on to the next thing. So the layout for this documentary was, it was kind of like giving you little glimpses of the past and kind of like giving you a little brief background of each individual person which was good which i appreciated but it wasn't long enough but overall i i and enjoyed also it quite there's a lot. such there's such a like there's quite there's, a few boys in, yeah, the, in the sideman group yeah. as well and they all have very extensive histories each each of their own i mean like ksi alone had his own series on prime yeah that was a good documentary, I watched the documentary. um documentary. and i actually, I actually worked on that Oh, but like um that's why i was a bit hesitant on watching it because for me i was kind of like in a, in and out on dipping my foot on it because i think i really liked that it was and it wasn't like a whole film or a whole documentary series it was yeah. like a i mean a whole documentary in in one sitting mm. you could break it up and watch it yeah, in bits yeah, and pieces yeah. and for me i think now that i've like really leaned into watching TV shows again mm. instead of like films. 
I prefer that like breaking down of chunks. Yeah, I think it's easy to digest it as well because there was a lot happening. So I think yeah, having it in I, I did bits. I did like the um, I did like the whole because I, I stepped away from Simon for a while. Um, I still respect them and what they're doing and big fan of their, their yeah. work, but I did step away from it. So this documentary did fill me in the gaps that I wasn't a part of. So I stepped out around after this track saga, whatever. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that happened in between. Yeah. Like uh, from what we've seen in the, in, in the doc, there's, there's a lot happening. So it filled me in the stuff that I missed out on. And actually start watching the, the, sh- the things again. I start watching oh, yeah. yeah, I start watching the, the game show stuff, which is really insane. And the fact that they're making two hour long videos and still getting millions of views. I crazy. think that was the, the big bulk of it for me that I made me realize, yo, they're actually sick. Because we're now in a climate where it's like short form content rules all, mm. and like even someone like Mr. Beast, he was he was in the in the documentary giving his um, little takes on things, and he said that he literally said to them like, what you guys do shouldn't be working. You guys yeah, are doing yeah. two hour form videos, but you're getting ninety million views on it. Like crazy. that's crazy. So people are actually watching your content from beginning to end. Two hours, and which is kind sta- of nuts. staying engaged, yeah. Yeah. liking, yeah. commenting, yeah. Yeah. getting all up in That's that thing. Business. Like, like a lot of these, a lot of these big channels nowadays, they they, they have a, a way of doing things, right? It's like the first three seconds is they try their best to, they should. So I'll give a great example. There's a channel called How Ridiculous, mm. but a bunch of Australians just do crazy shit, right? They do, they're the guys that drop things from high distances and do that, that kind of stuff. So they got 50 million subscribers. They got numbers, yeah. But to this day, they still that thing where they open the video with a crazy thing. They don't introduce anything; they just go straight into the crazy thing. Yeah, that's the. Someone don't do that. That's a new style. They don't. They don't. They, yeah, everyone, everyone does that. Even Mr. Yeah, Beast, where yeah, they, they yeah. start they open it with a mad thing. Because it's it's that. Someone don't do that. The, cook, the, you, the, you, the, the three the second cook. cook. Yeah. yeah. So you got three seconds to keep someone engaged. Otherwise, yeah. they're that's just the not gonna bother. I don't know. Everyone does that, but someone do that shit. From yeah. what I've seen, they just go straight into. The, they introduce the show. Because they tapped into it. They have a loyal fan base that's willing to. Just watch it. Yeah. Yeah. No, they 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 brought TV to the internet form because yeah. everything they've done in terms of the game show stuff is stuff that we see on cable TV. They just brought it onto a another platform mm-hmm. and kind of had more of a control of it. I, so, ca- I, I kind of liked it when they were laughing about how, um someone asked them would uh, if you lot were doing what you were doing TV, do you think or was, well, some, some, would it work? Or something related to TV, and they started laughing like, oh shit, these are really out of the old and with the new kind of thing. Yeah. There was a little giggling at. That, like like uh, your fills and your those people that do like TV stuff they're known for TV stuff Simon Cowell they're always laughing like you lot of old motherfuckers this is a new generation yeah they literally said over. like yo TV's dead like yeah, who even watches TV it's crazy how it was funny they're like um, TV killed radio and now internet's killing TV what's gonna is what they see it. so it's like what's gonna be be next I can't wait to find out what's next man. Um, that's, yeah th- th- this this um, they got me back into watching their stuff and they haven't lost it yeah they haven't, to this day they haven't, they haven't lost, lost it, it. Um, how they do it. Was, what was so amazing to me is like there's no one else that what they've done will never be replicated again and it's like their story is still going like they, they're still they're on a good like high I don't know if they've grown any bigger than they are I think KS, they're just like KSI. just cruising and that's what that's what's crazy about how big KSI is but he's still it's like in a weird way it's like I'm so loyal to these guys and then my friends like mm. I'm even though I'm cl- clearly we all know he's the biggest one out of all of them mm. and in a weird way he's what he's the one that helps bring like <laughs> YouTube you two yeah. into into the map oh, yeah. um but he's like he's willing to take the back seat and just be like one of the guys but the I guys. think as well that like, it's that bond that they had because they lived they lived together yeah and it was from a young age like yeah deep yeah. it like these guys were like post secondary school college age. Yeah. And they were like just constantly creating content together. That's why I think what is so beautiful about YouTube. Like from watching the, the background, obviously it, it talked about each individual person and it seemed like they all had something in common in terms of like they were just like shy, nerdy kids that didn't know how to socialise with yeah. people. Yeah, exactly. And they came home and just did what they wanted to do in the public but couldn't because they felt very like in their own bubble and presented it to the camera and they kind of blew it from that and you see from the fan base that they have hits a, a audience of people that kind of was can dealing connect, with, they can connect, with, connect with it like on just a being like yeah. nerdy like shy kids that didn't know how to socialize and i think youtube opened doors for that audience to like be, um express themselves as the best way they can because they couldn't do it in, in school because in, in school world, people yeah. most of them were getting bullied for trying to be like into their stuff, into the anime or into yeah. these nerdy yeah. stuff and like yeah. YouTube really opened up doors for them. So 
it was really dope seeing the, the background story in terms of um, what they create and like seeing what they're doing now like they're spending millions half a mil on like production design to create and this again, stuff and Ian, yeah, Ian like, like you see them coming out in these nice beautiful cars and they're about to do some dumb funny videos like they've made a profession out of this which is, is yeah, quite beautiful to see and they live they live no, quite, the, no a lot of them live very local to like some of us yeah no, so, so yeah in case i live in stratford this in stratford yeah. no but his home home is little, local little, to me gang, 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 so yeah. like yeah East like East his home home is East local East to me to the point that people would be like oh yeah like did you see the lambo that's ksi is and like it was a com common yeah. conversation but it was still like yeah, like he had all these big stuff, and but at the same time, you were still seeing that you could still relate on him, on a yeah, personal I, I level. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at him, like he's a, them are no more or less on the same level as like the cast of I don't know, like give me, so low like a somewhat low level um, uh, like they're they're on the same level as the cast of Big Mac Fury, right? But I would when I see the cast of Big Mac Fury, it would be a bit more of a shock than it would be if I saw any one of them six guys. Pardon me. Well, it depends. When I was younger and I used to watch them a lot more because, like, I think that was the weird thing last year when I was working on the KSI documentary and then watching this was it made me kind of go back to, like, 14, 13-year-old me consuming YouTube and being, like, understanding the audience, knowing it because I was that person. Yeah. Yeah. There was a time frame where I was heavily watching YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah, so their journey has been quite incredible. They they venture out just outside of YouTube and now are making money on side projects. I'm not even side projects, well, <laughs> <Sorry. funny, laughs> little better. So obviously you've got a couple of brands on here, but like having their own app and using the money to make from the app of, of doing like a prescription or uh, monthly payment to use that to support their videos. But um, I wanted to mention a few things. I think I had just noted down here. Um, one of them was um, obviously the internet stuff brings a lot of like... Um, Wait, what was my main question I was going to ask? Shit, it just came out of my mind Prime just now. Prime is gluten free, by the way. Huh? Prime is gluten free. <laughs> just going to really shout out to Prime. You're talking about Prime on the Sadman video, you know? It's crazy. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to talk about, yeah. So while watching the documentary, um, there was one bit, I think it was Josh. It was Josh. Oh, okay, no, that's not him. But it was Josh, that, um, one of the YouTubers. I think he's the oldest one there. He um during the start of YouTube, everyone kind of he was like the big dog at yeah, the he time. Was, he was the Don Dada. Yeah. Um, but there was one clip of him in the documentary that kind of like um struck to me was um he was on the phone talking to someone, and um he said the um the lines. What did he say again? He said um um what what we're about to do is gonna make him. It's gonna, it's gonna annoy him. He's gonna be in a mood, but that's okay. It's good. It's good content. And then later on in the documentary, there was a argument that Josh had with Ethan, hmm. and he said, "Yeah, we argued, but that was good content." And uh, he kind of like it was kind of weird the the language that was used in the documentary. Rather, rather than like, it being like a genuine engagement and growing from yeah. it, and trying to improve your communication style, it's content. oh, it's for the views. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's for the likes. And not to say that I understand what they were saying, but the language kind of like is was it off to me. Is huh? it shallow? Is it is it like is it, it empty? I think it's, I think I, it's a mixture of like what It's yeah. a very two D way of seeing an interaction with people. Like, yeah, me and you dispute, but at the end of the day I'm not thinking, Oh my god, it's great content. I'm yeah. thinking we're having a discussion. I think it's the new language that content creators have now where it's like when you're a content creator, you have to give a lot of your personal life or a lot of your personality into mm. it. So the good and the bad is used for entertainment. Yeah. So even though I'm, I'm sure they didn't mean it in a bad way, what they were saying, it it was just bad language to me to, to go across like, okay, quite, the way it argued, came across. But this could be. But it's quite fascinating because their 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 hook, should I say, is the fact that that we are they're so relatable. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of their, what they're doing is somewhat fabricated for content right mm. yeah so it's almost like a, almost like a bit of an oxymoron it's like a, like a pseudo re, like reality tv yeah it's Truman. They're, they're, they're Truman. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, a bunch of Trumans. It's, it's not it's not necessarily <laughs> real when Laden finally watches a film <laughs> he's fucking reference i can make a reference now yeah <laughs> that's a bag of Trumans. <laughs> yeah that, 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 that was kind of off putting to me but um i think that's just the climate of how youtube is nowadays anyway but i think that, i don't i don't think if it's just youtube though it's the way in which social media content creators yeah like how they see the world and that's why a lot of people think 
um, they could be potentially out of touch. Yeah. yeah. There is that continuous narrative that because there's been such a huge lean on uh, influencers and social media creators that brands and them, the individuals themselves are becoming out of touch. They don't know what it is to be a normal person. Mm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And so it doesn't have that normal person tone. And I think that was the thing that kind of, while I am technically a social creator with you guys, it it lacked that authenticity that I would be like, okay, I'm, I'm going to sit here and watch the whole thing. But I don't think that, they don't yeah. do, I, we don't, or so I, sh- I don't watch their stuff now for that relatability. I watch it because they have the finances to do crazy shit that I want to do. Yeah. Uh, the relatability is gone now. They're no longer yeah, like yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you continue to watch them, it's either for nostalgic, uh, nostalgia, or it's for the fact that they, the stuff they do is kind of really entertaining. It's entertaining to watch. Yeah. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like the whole thing of, is for the content. It's like, yeah, it's fake, but we know it's fake. We the same way we watch movies. The same way we watch shows and web well i said when, when he said it i think he meant like he's gonna it's for the not, not faking it it's gonna be real but we're gonna use the realness i don't think for it, I, I think that in of itself is probably a lie let's be honest mm. i reckon that's a lie i think that, that was a, that was i think they wouldn't have argued like that had there been no cameras i think that's they, they argued like that because there are cameras i think they moments. enhanced they, they may have been a dispute dispute or something or a bit but of anger. never to that level that level that cameras made it to that level I feel like whenever there's a camera, it's gonna be you're gonna add a little bit of performance. When you have, well, no, when you have any type of audience, you know, when yeah. someone kind of says something and you, they, stir, they stir the pot a little yeah. bit, and yeah. then someone says, "Oh, in the background now, <laughs> suddenly, oh, nah. suddenly nah. you're nah. angry." Nah, nah, that's that's it, and the thing is, because they've been working <laughs> with, uh, with each other for so long, it's almost like they had a mental conversation of like, "Oh, by the way, we're angry right now, but we can use this," you know. And yeah, they had that, 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 that unspoken conversation where they know what they're gonna do. So when he started responding, he started getting angry. He's like, "I'm not offended." Because if there were no cameras, you wouldn't be this big. But I know what you're doing. And that's why they're so easily, I guess it's so easy for them to kind of get back together because like, they know none of it is personal. Yeah. And they know that they are, you're shouting, but none of it, you don't mean nothing none of this. You're doing it because if you do that, I get money. Yeah. And you're trying to make me money as well as yourself money. Fair. So that relatability is no longer there. It's just, they're not actors. I guess. They're, just, they're, just, they're, just, they're just actors that fund their own stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, from the documentary and from the story you've seen with them, how do you feel about um, their lives and how it relates to us, obviously being like quote unquote content creators our, ourselves? I can still go as I can still go as well. <laughs> I can still go JD. But now into those those old commenters come and find you. Oh yeah, mate. <laughs> Aladdin, oh now now that Aladdin, 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 oh yeah, Aladdin, 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 Aladdin's, Aladdin's out Aladdin's there. What? Aladdin's what? Aladdin's what? out tra- there in the they streets. Didn't, they didn't know I was never. Anyway. Um, I never said anything. I just said he's out saying, there in the They never knew I wasn't in the streets, alone, but that's, it doesn't matter. Anyway. I thought we normally talk about personal life. Normally. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know because you just went. What? Because you're actually walking around outside in the streets. Yeah, was like, that's, oh, that's what I meant. Either way, we can still go as though. <laughs> we can still go Tesco and JD and Westwood and. So like, yeah, I feel like for us, it's, this is the very start of things. We started quite late, but all the things considered. But yeah. Either way. I don't. I, don't, well, I, don't I mean, speak for yourself. We were creating content before. Yeah, for a while. Before so. you were even in secondary school. When was I secondary school? <laughs> when was I secondary school? 2012. What was you doing? Yeah, we would do. I was creating content way I before was creating you were. Content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was creating yeah. content for a time still. Yeah. I used to have a YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah, I, I know. I went on the Arctic channel when I went to the oldest video and I saw. Oh, it. you saw the old stuff. Oh shit, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Your fault. Why is it still alive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. In terms like in relation to us, I guess. It, for stars, it shows that it shows that it is possible. It shows that it gives it gives us what we should do, what we shouldn't do. It's great inspiration. Yeah, it's definitely. It's and very at the end of the day, it's just like yeah, it's. it's I it's, love because you can use them. <laughs> to yeah, use them. <laughs> even with my my new job working as a content creator for a, a business, it's like I have to look at other content creators, and it's quite interesting seeing how they do work. Because a lot of them have like studios and they just do content yeah. and it's quite it's quite inspiring to see that type of stuff. So uh, I do like I did really enjoy this documentary. I think it's I'm coming from more of a biased standpoint because I do content creating, so I just related to it I a mean, lot. And I just love seeing that story of the of the small people that started off like she just yeah. um, one of them um, 
bought, bought a camera from selling sweets in school. So it was like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Vic, yeah. yeah that's, Vic, I saw right. sweets. That's, 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 that's so old brand. Yeah. Back in the day, that's you all knew yeah, one yeah, mandem yeah. that was selling sweets. Oh, was the mandem, bro. <laughs> I was, I was oh, saying Capri yeah. songs, boy. Capri songs. Yeah, I was saying oh, Capri songs. Shit, shit. I was saying Lucas Ace. Yeah. I was the person that was selling. I yeah. was, I was yeah. the person that was buying. Ooh. Oh, you're buying? Yeah. Yo, kids nowadays sell prime. Yeah, yeah. profit, come on. Fascinating. Margins for the board. Fucking but yeah, what do you, um, besides that, um, what do you th- guys think is next for them? They've done so much. What more do you think they will do? Or what more will it's be next? next? They easily what's, do what's a next? network. A, like an online network. I think they that's, I think that's the final stage for them, you know? When, that's, when, I, when you say network, I feel like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it's like a platform for other creators. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Outside yeah. of them. Yeah. That, I mean, legacy, like a label. Legacy is. Like, 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 no, more like a management. Yeah. Because yeah. there is, there's not a, a lot of people aren't leaning into agents anymore. They're leaning for management. Yeah. So they'll create the strategy for you. They'll yeah, outline yeah, what you need yeah, to do yeah, your content yeah, yeah, yeah. in. Yeah. They'll try and build up your audience. And then. Is that you, possible to do as a content creator? We haven't seen that done before. It is. It's Most of what they've done has, hasn't been done before. But we've never seen a content creator haven't like where I'm looking. I'm looking at like a, from a rapper's standpoint because I'm heavily influenced by rap culture, as you can clearly tell. But when you have like a, for example, Little Wayne has Drake, you don't you only see that in the content world where you see Mr. Beast has but another you, person what, next what, to them. But what? it could it could easily happen where they bring them into the game where they tap in like into younger, a younger for, yeah, for, for example, it. Mr. Mr. Beast tapping into the younger Twitch generation and then now going from youtube to twitch and doing twitch management yeah i think it, it's possible. doing it is not i think i think it's on the list and it's that i think it's the last thing they'll do which means it's going to be coming up real soon so i reckon most of them are going to retire i think it's going to end soon i think they're calling it from the documentary you can tell one or two of them need but well, have a child and yeah oh no like... no they've already bought houses they're, they're halfway there man yeah. we're at that age Damn. yeah that one, we, like... we've seen them grow and retire that's beautiful. That's amazing. That's beautiful. I wow. wish that was me. It's income. I'm growing on time. <laughs> yeah. We would love to grow on time. I don't want to be 17 working. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I did not be, wo- I I did not be working. Like my fuck. 40s. I'm not working my 40s. I promise you that, bro. Are you sure? No, we're yeah. working yeah. 40s. Clip that. Talk to yourself. <laughs> and you're going to be working doing that. No, no, no. You're going to no, be no, working no. clipping no, that No, no, you just say... You're going to be clipping no, videos no, in my 40s. You I'm saying what you just said there would be... I'm not going to, period. Yeah, I'm not going to okay. Periods. I'm going to enjoy, live on the streets I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah. That's I'll be island hopping. Island hopping. Ooh, we'll say it. <laughs> say it to the system, baby. Island, girl. Island, girl. Island, Literally, boy. daddy end, girl. Yeah, I enjoyed the documentary oh, quite a lot. It's out now on Netflix. Do check it out. It's called it The Sidemen Story. I think it's called Just The Sidemen. I don't know. Yeah, it was meant to be on Netflix. It was a, they made it for something else, and then Netflix came to you and said, yo, wait a second. Can we give us this for a second? And they gave it to them. Yeah. Well, money for it, though. Like, they, they, they were meant to be, I think it was originally meant to be on YouTube. Yes, I've, I've never seen it. I think it was the interview you sent me. I think it, no, uh, something else. There's something uh, else I saw where they said it was going to just put it as a YouTube, but yeah, it came bigger. Then like came Netflix came along, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, and took it, which is which is dope because the production value of it was, was quite nice. I enjoyed the the quick, sh- the nice shots they had over it. I, it, was, I like it, was, it was done. I, I like quite well. Sorry, I like I like I always love this where I see the camera shooting someone and then they switch to a different camera. Looking at the camera that we just looked at, and I see the guy holding the camera. Like, oh, this is like there. proper breaking the full. F- you love yeah. your full full. I just love cameras. Man. I don't know. I just love looking at cameras. I don't know, like, I don't know what camera is. <laughs> you should fuck one. Huh? Um, yeah, cool. So um, that's it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the hole's not big enough, firstly. Oh, he tried. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he was doing on Valentine's Day? In the three, four, five minutes. So the one with the camera's all blurry right now, so he can't barely see us. <laughs> no, the people the the Oaks keep, the Oaks jacket. Oh, nasty. Okay, you're nasty. Disgusting. You're nasty. Oh, disgusting. disgusting. Cool. You want to get into intakes? Yeah. Let's take a minute. Intake. The Vince Staple Show is out now on Netflix. Do check it out. I've not finished it yet. I've watched three episodes. I think I've got two episodes left. If you haven't, please do check it out. It's a comedy show from a rapper called Vince Staples. I've watched three episodes so far, and I'm enjoying it. It's good, it's funny, it's everything I kind of expected him to do, and he's doing it, and he's doing it well. I'm fighting for a season two. I'm kind of annoyed there's only five episodes. It's only five episodes, and they're 20 to 30 minutes long. But it's a quick watch to have, so if you haven't, check it out. Vince Staples show out now on Netflix. Gang, gang. So I've been watching that. Obviously, we've swapped outside, man. And I'm updating my film buff um, skill set, and I've watched The King of Comedy from What's Martin that? Scorsese. Mm. 
featuring Robert, De, uh, no, Robert De Niro. Yeah. Mm. And I enjoyed this film quite a lot. And for your reference, kind of, <laughs> for your reference, re recommended this film for me to watch because they posted it on their page. And I said, I want to check it out. And I can't lie to you, I'm looking at the Joker quite differently after watching this film. So I've seen Taxi Driver, which is another Martin Scorsese film. And when Joker came out, a lot of people were comparing Joker to Taxi Driver. I am walking here. Walking. But then I watched Kings of Comedy and I was like, this is another film that is quite similar to the Joker. And it makes me not like the Joker that much. Ugh. Yeah. So does that mean you're not excited for Joker? <sighs> the, 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 not the, really, no. It's good. Fali adieu. Cause now I've seen two films that's made by the same director that it seems like you just copied and pasted and put into a DC character. And I'm looking mad. I like, the, like Robert De Niro's in Joker. And that character he plays in Joker is pretty much the same character. It feels like... It, the Joker feels like a sequel to Kings of Comedy. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. But I, en I enjoyed the Have you seen the photos of... Um, Gaga and uh, yeah. Joaquin. But that's it's a, a that's musical. A, that's another one. It doesn't say musical next to it. <laughs> What's going on? They don't want to put musicals. I don't I know don't, if it, what, uh, maybe that, maybe it affects sales. I don't know. That one is a musical. Don't. But they're saying it's not a musical now. <laughs> what do you <laughs> want? What do <laughs> you <laughs> want from <laughs> me? <laughs> but yeah, I've got nothing well, left. Well, that was the watch. I think that's everything watching now. That guy, that, that yeah. photo, those photos of them two dancing together that make you uncomfortable. Actually, there is one musical that I've been watching, yeah? funny enough. There's an animation show called Hasman Hotel, which is really good. It's on Prime. Um, they dropped a, um, they made a video. A fan it's A24, isn't it? Yeah, A24 backed, A24. Uh, backing this. And they they made a, they did a video on YouTube and it blew up and it got, got viral. And then A24 came along, back, backed them, and then it got sold to Prime. I used to I've been watch watching it. YouTube. And it is really good. As in, it's a weird premise, but I really like it. It's basically set in hell. There's an overcrowd. Where a lot in of, hell? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. set in hell is an animation <laughs> show. There's um overcrowded population and people in hell. And um, to help lower down the population, um, people in heaven come down and kill everyone, kill all the demons. So uh, one person who is the daughter of, Sa of Lucifer, she makes a hotel, which is meant to be like a rehab to rehabilitate the demons so they can go heaven so the angels can stop killing them and which is a weird premise That's and the hotel wild. is called has been hotel which is really good and the music in it is really good i really enjoyed the music for someone that's not a fan of musicals i enjoyed the music quite a lot like i was actually bopping my head to the songs and it's just styles good there's one demon who's the demon of radio and his voice in it is so spooky it's so weird i'll play it for you guys after we're done recording but it's pretty dope, so if you have a chance, please check out Hasbin Hotel. Did you ever get a chance to watch the YouTube channel beforehand? No. I So basically, I watched the stuff. I used to see it a lot on TikTok before it became an actual show. Yeah. So to now see that it's a show, I'm kind of waiting myself to get to a point where I can sit there and watch it because I know I'm going to love it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to love it. Um, and I think it's what I'll say from what I'd seen on the YouTube channel, is I think it's going to be much bigger than um, Big Mouth. Much bigger. Mm. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people, every time people talk about the show, they talk about it highly, and I feel like once the right eyes line on it, it's gonna just spiral out of control. And also because Prime is so accessible now, yeah. and it's, it's, not, it's not a TV show, it's a, I mean, it's not a film, it's a TV show. Yeah. You can just pop in and out of it. In it's out. filling that void that people have from um, Brick and Morty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll watch it. It's, it sounds the, the concept is fucking wild. The concept is wild. It sounds like a great horror. But that's concept. why I love it because it feels a lot, it's a lot more original than yeah. anything else I've seen. It's like a thriller. I, would, I love that as a thriller. Yeah. Like very dark, very adult humor, though. Yeah. It's, demon, it's very, very it's adult demon, swimish. Demons, sex swimish. jokes through the roof. Yeah, there's even the demons. Roof. Demons are fucking like crazy. Just seen them fucking like, whoa, okay, fucking. Demons and humans as well. Yeah. Interracial sex? In, inter spiritual what? sex? Inter <laughs> what? What do you put that Interracial sex? That's interracial sex. a demon and a human. <laughs> that's <a> inter spiritual <laughs> sex. Oh, okay, inter 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 species. Inter species. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's my... Actually, I've, I've watched the holdovers as well. Is what it? do you think yeah, of it? I enjoyed it. What yeah. do you think of Divine, Divine's performance? Divine? Is that the kid? No, the woman. Oh, it was good. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Her performance was good. Oscar worthy? 
I don't know, you know. I think that's bad for me to say, but I don't. It didn't feel like it was Oscar performance, but it was good. But while watching it, I didn't like the script. Like the stuff as I'm gonna do that as the black woman, but as, <laughs> but I feel like I don't see a black woman saying the stuff she said. It's clear that a white man ripped her. Black uh, character written by a yeah, Caucasian that's what it felt like, and she bodied the performance. The performance was good, and I f- yeah, the script wasn't there for me, but I enjoyed the story. The concept was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't like the ending. The ending just made me sad, but I would recommend people to check it out though. Okay. If you want to be sad, there yeah, you go. If you want to be sad, you guys seen Iron Claw yet? No, Speaking of sad yeah, films, yeah, that's what. That's what. That's, we mate. need to plan when we're gonna when we're all gonna collectively cry. <laughs> Fucking hell. So you've seen, you've seen it already, haven't you? Yeah. You know, I took you a lot, I cried at the end. Did you? Yeah, I cried. You're crying now? I did fuck tears. Hmm? I did proper tears. Well, you're crying right now, yeah, bro. Yes. Your left yeah. eye is... I don't know, I don't know if I'm... Getting sad, No, because I'm... I, I need to be... I need... You know sad. when it's... I, I need... I said this to someone, that I need to be in a, sad, in a place where I'm ready to be cathartic. Where yeah, like, really if I get all the tears that. out and then I'll be like, yeah, that's what I needed to do. Damn. I'm going to watch... I'm, I'm going to cinema today, bro. I just don't know if I want to watch I- White Claw or... I- White Claw? Fucking hell, yeah, colleagues. As soon as invoice uh, comes in, I'm I going... I implore one love. I don't know what I'm trying to say. As soon as invoice comes in, I'm going outside. You <laughs> 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 should come any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <Got there. laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's main takes. What about you? You got... You got, you, I know you got... No, 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 no. You I'll best to last. <laughs> Oh shit! As if I was watching she said stuff. I've got some shit to drop for you, yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, what um, else have you unlocked on your list? Not that many. Damn. And I'll tell you why. I'm stuck on one movie and I've tried to watch it six times. And each time I watch it, I fall asleep. Right. So. What are you watching? Boring. I reckon you lot can guess what movie I'm talking about, based on what I've been watching recently. What you've been watching recently? I'm, I'm getting ready for something that's coming out soon. Oh, is it Blade Runner? <laughs> it's the Wait, first the one. the first one? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's, it's very, it's a film noir and it's oh very slow God. paced. But oh, that's what, no, but it's so very difficult. noir. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's very old school noir. Yeah. And I think that's why you don't like it as much. It's yeah. just boring. Like, I hear it. And don't get I me wrong, I, 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 like, I've, I've recently started to kind of enjoy slow paced movies because the story, I'm able to latch on. So even if it was poorly paste, I can still kind of enjoy it. Yeah, but this is a lot of it's like, fucking bo- nothing really happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Everything that happens is, look, every time is, there's no dialogue, I want dialogue. Yeah. And when the dialogue starts, I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. Let's go back to no dialogue, please. But like Maz says, it's, that's film noir, though. Yeah, that's a like, proper, proper old school. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Old school noir. And, and I Ridley think- Scott made this. I had no idea. Yeah, when this film came out, that, that changed sci-fi. It probably it did. One of, no, one what, just this how, this how boring it is. Because it well. I was watching back in it for a sci-fi film back I think it was like well, 60s or something. When does it come out? It was oh, it was in a time where it was like... 70s, huh? Who's going to say you didn't age no, well? No, t- there's parts of it that didn't 80s. age particularly What scenes? Well. In terms of like graphics? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. That, yeah. yeah that's, that was wild. Yeah. But that's it. So here's the thing, yeah. Yeah. Um... I, I mean, like, the st- 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 that's what I hold yeah, on my topic. That's, that's <laughs> no, because, like, the, it was, like, it's not even, like, a small part of the storyline. It's yeah. pretty big. Yeah, that was, okay. that was a bit that's wild. That's Actually, true. so I've tried to watch the movie six times, and, like, and I keep continuing. Six times? I keep continuing where I left off in it. And I haven't finished the movie yet. Yeah. And you know it's bad when I haven't finished the movie. I've got, like, an hour left of that movie. And I'm on YouTube just to watch some reviews on it and watch some recaps and watch some retrospective, just so I can understand this movie better so I can go back and watch it and enjoy it. Yeah. No, nothing's hitting, bro. Damn. Hold it. And I, I really want to watch 2049. I know 2049 is really, really good. Really I good. think really the good. interesting thing is when it first came out, 2049, mm. was that a lot of people critiqued the way it was edited and how much they didn't like the pacing of the story. So I think it's just with time and watching it again, and hindsight, you'll be like, oh, okay, I actually do appreciate this version. I don't have, drawing. yeah, because uh, I've got so much I need to watch. I'm just on this one at a time. I'm not going to watch anything again for a while. So I don't have that luxury. But when I'm watching videos on it, people are saying how this is like, a lot of people from what I've seen say that they hated the first time they watched it and when they watched it again, they appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I don't have that luxury. So it's just a thing where I just have to get through it, take, it, take in the stuff that I need to know for the sequel, enjoy the sequel in June. Just need to ask oh. a question. Wait, just doing things before I get into my Doom part too bad. Cool. I'll take you on first. 
Yeah, yeah, I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I just have one question. What did you think of the Batman? Did you like that pacing or did you hate Fucking it? I love the Batman. I thought it was quite slow. There we go. So if you don't like you're noirs, slow. you're fucking you slow. You're you slow. don't. You don't like you noirs. You I said you slow. Fuck you, never. How can you hate? You don't like the Batman. I don't say I hate it. Oh. I said it was a difficult watch because it was quite slow, but I still enjoyed yeah. a lot of so scenes. So you don't. You don't so like nice. the noir pacing. Please give a sack of me, you pussy. Motherfucker, sack of me, but I have full context. Don't you, dickhead. I'm not thanking for content. I just really like the Batman. I just hate. No, the I said you're. you're a, lot, a lot of people don't oh. like it, and I, I think I the reason is people don't like noirs don't like the Batman. Yeah. And if you don't like the Batman, then you're more likely to not like Blade Runner. What do you like? Um, Better Call Saul. And that's like slow pace. Very. Very slow And I loved pace. it. So I don't yeah. know what it is. Is it just... I'd like, Maybe it's there's different types of slow pace. No, but Blade, so the Batman was... For me, for or me, it slow was, burner. It was, it was too long. That's more than... I liked I loved it a lot. I watched I loved it, it twice. Obviously, I've really? watched it again yeah. recently. Six hours. I, I watched it, it I watched it twice in cinema and then I downloaded it. So I have it for life. Yeah, I need to buy that, that, Legally? F- that 4K Ultra, bro. That's a collection. Yeah, right yeah, there. you can get it for quite cheap, I see it. Say less. Say part two, let's I'll, go. So, neither can I. Just pace it up a little bit. Pace it up. Pace it up. <laughs> pace it up. Just, just it's speed. a noir. He's a detective. What do you yeah, want? I like a lot of it. I like a lot of it. It's just a bit too long. But on that besides, Pause. yeah, it's just every week I could always come back and say, I'll watch this, 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 this. This one I've been trying to watch this for a week and I'm struggling. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's difficult. But. Maybe uh, just leave it for now. No, no, because I need to. I need to I, I'm preparing for June part two, innit? So I need to watch Dinny. Hello? No, so yeah, I'm going to get hype in it. So. Oh, he's, he's oh. getting excited. But what man's going to do is going to take it before I get into it. Oh, I see we've got the tickets now. We have to. I'm, I'm waiting for this invoice to go through <laughs> so I can fucking buy stuff. I know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for this movie. This movie's going to be so. I'm, I'm, not, it's because oh. I'm not excited for June part two because I don't know enough about it. So I'm trying to do what, like what I said to you about on. Uh, about the whole trailer thing. I'm trying to avoid watching stuff June related because I want to build that level of excitement that I had when it was the end, end game. And the fact that I'd have to wait a year, I could have to wait less than a month. I'm guessing it. When I watched June the first time, I didn't enjoy it because I didn't get it. But now, you can go now. Baz, you can go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm really shy, girl. By you the way, I was holding my, my legs for the audio listeners because I was like, don't talk. Don't talk. Let him speak. Let him cook. <laughs> this is gross. Growth. Um, <laughs> Episode three, baby. So I've I have a few intakes. So on fourteenth Valentine's Day, we got a amazing opportunity, and I shared it on both outtake and my personal Instagram story about the Bridgerton. Um, early viewing for the yeah. new season, season four. I thought she was going to watch something else. No, season day. three, season three yeah. of Bridgerton, um, which now follows the storyline of Penelope, known as Lady Whistledown, and Colin Bridgerton. Um, and what I we only got to see like two episodes of it, and yeah. based off of that, I started listening to the audio book of that se- season, yeah. and. I really liked how they actually are sticking to aspects of the source because in the previous seasons there are like obviously slight twists with Shondaland produ- producing it obviously with now having a diversity in cast <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but um, it, it like even the um, costume design which is yeah. a really small detail is sticking to what is actually happening in the source itself yeah. and the conversations that are saying. And that's only just based off of the first two episodes. I'm only on the first chapter in the audiobook, but it's really nice to see that. So I've got, I'm really happy that I got to see that early and then start going into the source and then mm. kind of building the anticipation to it because it's coming out in May. Didn't you just drop season no, two? No, no, no. Season two's been out for a minute. It's been out for a while. Fair enough. You know, I never watched Bridgerton. Um, yeah, no, even I never. Even though it was the hype for it, I never. Nothing, nothing appealed to me to say. Yo, I watch think this. because you don't, you don't like. The thing is, I was the same, and I was thinking like, I know I'm typically the ideal um, audience, yeah. like, someone who has appreciated Shondaland production stuff beforehand. Yeah. Um, 
and like I, I dabble in the occasional period drama but I've never really had that close ties with period dramas yeah. until quite recently where I just was just staying inside because I was rock and I started <laughs> listening to like watching a lot of period dramas and yeah. loving it so a uh, quick question why did you go rock Oh yeah, Tom Holland. <laughs> 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 Shots fired. Yo, <laughs> yo, Freddie Fire. I'm sorry. Oh, I was about to say you don't bring personal life in the podcast. Yo, I backed out the walk. I yeah, by the way, I I, uh, I I got the most exclusive tickets for for just just to put context. I got the most exclusive tickets in the West End, which is the yeah. Tom Holland tickets. Shout out to Lani. Um, yeah, two of us were like, two. Devices deep trying to get it. Serious? Yeah. We, 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 no, because like <laughs> it, it was like random pacing. So even if you logged in early, I think I was like six thousand. She was three thousand. Damn. It, we were on there for like th- for an hour and a half just trying to get tickets. Yeah. Oh, it was really difficult. And S- so like six S- days S- all sold out. Yeah. It, it sold out. It sold out <laughs> in two like, hours. So we had half an hour space oh, to make sure damn. we. I don't know tickets. who Juliet is, bro. Who is Juliet though? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Juliet. Yo, 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 yo. yo. <laughs> Zendaya. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> if that is Zendaya, bro, I don't know what to I say. Have, I'm going to pray tonight. I really want that to be Aquafina pose. <laughs> just to <laughs> piss you off. <laughs> just to really that would be so random. Anyway, back to my intake <laughs> before I was rudely interrupted. That's why I was Brock. Um, <laughs> um, because, yeah, so I think leaning into that period drama, I'm really excited to see what the season three, not season four, of Bridgerton has in comparison to the source because I'm now listening to the audiobook. So by the time it comes out, I'll be kind of like having the insights and be able to do a literature versus a TV adaptation side by side. Yeah. So watch out for that review. Um, what else did you last do but not least, depending what film you're talking about, it might be least. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually. We'll I did watch two stuff, so I watched Mimic. 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 It's on Mubi. Yeah, shout out Mubi. Uh, it's a it's a nice short. It's about eleven minutes long. Yeah. And oh my god. Um. Basically, I just wanted to shout out. So I'm gonna read my review from my letterbox. By the way, my letterbox is yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, movies W Maz. You know, movies Hello. with Maz. Movie and Maz. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It's all it's all it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all ha- <sighs> It's all good having a name that has like a certain letter that can just bounce off of stuff, you know. Eh? What W? Like M. M. Oh, oh, M. Sorry. Okay, this guy. Ah. <laughs> so what what the you? fuck did he get? <laughs> With the whiff, <laughs> innit? I'm just supposed to be. I'm, I'm With the whiff. <laughs> <laughs> what I did by saying that? You said a letter. Um, I said a letter. Movie of Maz. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, oh. Um, what is it? Mascaro. Mascaro with Maz mm-hmm. as well. Like you got, you got M's. Mm-hmm. You already know the Mascaro with I Maz. Bet, bro, bro. You know Mascaro with Mimosas with Maz. With Maz. Mimosas. Why don't I say Mascaro? Oh. What's Mascaro again? I don't know. It's, oh, not, it's another one. Oh yeah, I'm even mad. So. Um, Bevies. Yo, one of us. You're, you're telling the source. You're telling the source. <laughs> say, say. Um, you ruined it. I'm a bad. My review of the Nimic was that shout out to Film Twitter for actually recommending it to me because I saw a small mm. snippet where we have the two protagonists, I guess, and they're in the tube and they're like, what's the time? And mm. it's just a very surreal moment. Um, and I think what really tapped into me for this short film was that for such a short period, because it's only 11 minutes long, yeah. it made me uncomfortable as fuck. I had no idea what I watched yeah. and it was the most, it was unnerving. I constantly was waiting for some, a jump scare or something, yeah. but it wasn't physically scary, but somehow I just felt scared or uncomfortable. Yeah. In the space of 11 minutes. Give up that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so that is, what do you watch on? That's Nick oh, movie. on movie. Oh, shout movie. Yeah. yeah. I can watch that today, but. Um, and it's only 11 minutes, so you don't have to feel like, oh, I'm yeah. consuming myself in time. <laughs> and then... That's always the worst, especially with your editing. God yeah. damn. Last but not least. <laughs> Maybe least. Madam Web. Okay. So, um, a lot of people were kind of just saying, oh, like, I can't believe you're going to watch it on Valentine's Day. Um, how, how have you leaned into it? And I literally said to people, ahead of watching the film, I'm going to watch this film like I'm going to watch Sharknado. 
<laughs> Even then. Like, I'm going into it knowing it's not going to be good, but I'm still just going to have a good time regardless. Yeah, come on. Um, This is my letterbox review. I found myself basically watching the longest Pepsi ad yes. in cinematic history. Yes. Well, there's a lot of Pepsi in it. Just a Death big sign. Death by Pepsi. Just a big sign. Death by yeah. Pepsi. What? Mum and Dad by Pepsi sign. <laughs> In all seriousness, it was the most grand thing. God damn, you gave it one star. <laughs> I gave it one star. Why star. did you give it a star? Can you go zero? No, no, no. A lot, of people, were give, a lot of people on Letterbox were giving it a half star. <laughs> I think that was the first time. I was being generous. That was the first time I've ever seen people give half stars. God damn. You didn't know it existed. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know it existed. In all seriousness, it was like the most random thing I'd ever seen in a bad way. Yeah. That's true. Um, if you wanted a crash film course, then for less than a tenner, this was it. Um, you'd be thinking the whole way through, how could I improve this? <laughs> yeah. um, it was a great giggle for me and my homegirl uh, um, for yeah. Galentine's Day. Mm. We were laughing at the film, Good. not with it. Damn. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's what I've got to say about that. Follow, follow, follow Movie Maz on and Letterboxd. <laughs> Movie W. That Max. movie was not a W, bro. That was the biggest L. <laughs> the film was like L. Fuck yeah, and it's quite interesting because there, it's it's supposed to lead to the next film because there's a particular ah, there's a post character. Scene. There's, a post scene. there's no post credit scene, but there is a character that is introduced who's technically in it. Don't 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 try to be spoiler free, please. No okay, one okay. Gives a fuck. <laughs> right, so basically, <laughs> don't be spoiler free. Emma, 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 Emma Roberts, she's pregnant and. Emma Roberts? Yeah, she's in, she's in the film. Yeah. She's May, innit? She's, no. Oh, who's May? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Who's Let her mom? talk, bruv. Who's yeah, so, so Emma Roberts is Peter's mum. May? No, Peter's mum. Peter's May mom. Parker. No. No, bro. What are you talking about, Mary man? Mary Parker. Sorry, Mary. Just, time, just let her talk, man. Mary, Mary, Mary. Her name is Mary. Her name is Mary. So it's Peter's mum. Wait, start, and she's start, start that again, because I think the audience listeners are confused as hell. Mary Parker's... <laughs> Mary Parker's so, mum. The story has... Peter's mum, mm -hmm. Mary Parker, yeah, okay. pregnant mm -hmm. with Peter, mm -hmm. and Uncle Ben mm -hmm. is in the film, yeah. and he's young, and he's just started dating Aunt May, mm -hmm. and that's how they have that connection with Madam Webb. So, mm -hmm. at the end of the film, Mary is giving birth to Peter, and uh, Madam Webb has now become completely Madam Webb, where she can't see at all. And she's just relying on the fact that she can see into the future and shit. Yeah. And so it's you already have that build up into having their own version of Peter Parker yeah. and another film. Here's the thing, yeah. This is more of a compliment to you opposed to Sony. You what you just did there made me excited for this movie. <laughs> what you just did there made me want to watch well, this movie. I, I work in marketing. Yeah. <laughs> what can you I get, say? You, your fucking but you, you have said that. If you take away the Spider Man stuff, it still seems interesting. You said that. Yeah, yeah. Fast. So, so that, it, from the trailer, it does look kind of interesting. Take out Spider -Man. The way it's executed is terrible. It probably is, and I agree with you. But, like, that plot, as a comic book fan, I want to see that. Mm. And I want to I wanna make my own headcanon be that that Peter Parker that is, that, that is born is Andrew Garfield's Spider Man because they want to continue that one. That, what you just said there, fucking maybe, like, oh shit, I'll be wrong. I just want to watch that one part. So, no, now it. <laughs> It's making me think, do I watch Madam Web again, but not in cinema? Mm. And then, like, watch the Amazing Spider Man sure series. After. Right after. Yeah. <laughs> Watching Madam Web to watch the Amazing Spider Man series. No, no, but like I said, <laughs> I'm going to be waved when I watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be waved when I watch that again. Yo, you know, you know that scene in the, in the trailer where they, they all suit up and they, they, they whatever? You know, that was a fucking imagination. Yeah, oh. it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It was an imagination. It was, it was since. Um, it, it dream. Was, it was a nightmare. He was dreaming that that doesn't happen. That's why he went and gone and tried to kill him. But that actually happened in the world. Oh, yeah, I heard the whole premise is that he thinks he, these people are going to kill him, so he has yeah. to kill yeah. him first. Yes. Yeah. And also, stupid. oh, oh, that villain was bad. Is he oh, sins? he. Oh. And in the comics, yeah, he, he's he even hard in the comics, you know? He was so cringe. That's why he was like whispering the whole time. Yeah. And the ADR was just terrible. The, the AD was terrible. <sighs> and it's just like, he, he keeps talking to himself. It's like, you know, you know, um, you know when Peter Parker's swinging? A lot of the tires. characters were just talking to themselves. Mm. So, Madam Webb was, was talking to herself. 
the villain was talking to himself. Sequel, and it's just like, there's this one scene. I, I, I don't know if it was, it actually happened or it was a dream, but she like woke up and she was having a conversation with the villain. And I'm like, what happened? Where did this come from? And it, it, the pacing, the way the storyline built up was chaotic. At one point, they're in a, in, in a motel because they're trying to hide from the villain. And she wakes up from this dream where she had the conversation with the villain. And she goes, I'm going to Peru. I need to go to Peru. So she leaves the girls with Uncle Ben and goes to Peru. I kind of want to watch this movie. Yeah, why do people... <sighs> So yeah, I kind of want to watch it. I just, the way you're talking about it is like, so is it boring? It's not boring. It just it's, makes no fucking sense. It, and it's stupid. It's stupid. Good, cool. That's enough for, for me. But I told you, it's a stupid, funny film. That's fine. I don't like boring. I like stupid and funny. But all funny for the wrong reasons. Do you, That's there, was, what, there was there was someone, like, the funniest thing was, because like, obviously it was Valentine's Day, so mm. the cinema was packed. Um, That's wild. Um, the cinema was packed. And there was like a guy who was obviously trying to watch it with all seriousness as a comic book lover. Mm -hmm. And then there was like a group of guys and they were just laughing. And he was like, shh. And I was like, bro, this is, this not, is, not, the not, this is not the film to Brother, be shushing are you, to. Are you slow? Do you know where you're going? <laughs> Look at the screen. Fuck Let me. them laugh because <laughs> this is not serious. Oh. I kind of want to watch it now. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining it. You're ruining my hate for this movie. You think they knew they, they were making shit? Oh, they, they had to. I mean, for they the record, at some point you have to know that this is not. All publicity is good publicity, and they've had a whole heap of publicity, so. It's not showing, it's not reflecting. And also, like stuff. halfway through, while I was watching the film, I was thinking, hold on bad. one second, how is Sydney Sweeney playing a teenage girl, and then um, anyone but you is also playing, and she's like a whole woman oh, in her God, 20s? Man. I'm like, how is this happening? Act one. What, a, what a clusterfuck. That's, that's <laughs> probably the best way to describe it. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, there's so many snippets, like there's montages where she's obviously having visions of stuff that are going to happen. That's, oh, that's, 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 oh. that's going to happen. That's going to happen. That's going to happen in the film. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense. And then it just happens and it's just like, but why did you include that? Because now you're confusing the audience. It only makes sense really at the end of the it. film. I want to watch this movie. <laughs> like, I really want to watch it. Now. You really critique it. And you <laughs> actually... what? Because, no, <laughs> my, my, I, I told you, I get offended if I watch a movie that's two hours long and it's boring because I'm offended by the fact that you waste my time. But if this is funny and stupid, I, that's, that's... I'm the, telling you, it's a free I'm, film co crash course in film for a tenner. That's It's me. a win. That's, 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 <laughs> I want, I will, that's not me. I'm not offended about it if I spend two hours watching mm, something stupid. You enjoy that, man. I mean, this is the someone who watches Fast. That's what, one time? You didn't watch it. You, down, time. you downloaded mm. the films you on Prime. The films. All of them were good, except you, for the last you two. You rented them. All of them were good, except for the last two. You're no, lying. he, he didn't. He, he, oh my God, he even rented them. So was, at least if you downloaded them, it's not that deep. Yeah. You no, rented I, them I, and I paid. Bought, I bought some of them still. Yeah. <laughs> Say that louder for the people on the audio. <laughs> Put a better back. No, I would not. He said I own that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I own that shit. I actually got Fast and Furious 6 and 7 on Blu-ray. Those ones are good. Oh, the audio doesn't care about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all your intakes? Yeah, that's all my intakes. Okay, Sorry. Man. I yaffa yaffa there a little. Can I talk about something illegal? Okay, we'll see if we have to cut this guy. I found a new way of watching movies that's not on Disney Plus or, or, or Netflix. What is it called? I torrent it, and then what I do is I, I, I so my thing is if there's no subtitles, I struggle to watch it, I struggle to follow along, right? So Wait, you a, told this last time. No, 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 watch, watch it. I yeah, torrent it, it off, off, off camera. And then I upload it on YouTube. Yeah, you told yeah, us that. Yeah, did the trash clip. Okay, 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 now you got it. You can recognize yourself, cool. So Aladdin doesn't pay for, well, you just spoke about how he does pay for stuff and now he went to, you know what, I don't do that no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to like that no more. Nah, I'll be stealing. I'll be stealing. Cozy lives. Cozy really does live, you know. Refreshing for real, man. Cozy really does. Oh, I've got Netflix in this. We have no choice. We have no choice. But yeah, man, that's another episode of the Outfit Show, episode 30. If mm -hmm. you're watching on YouTube, um, be sure to give us a like and subscribe, man. If you're listening on all your platforms, be sure to give us a, a review because that does help the channel grow. Yeah. But you got myself, Junior, the host of the most job, man, Junes. No, you sorry. got Aladdin, skinny jean bandit in the mm -hmm. building. Oh, you stop that. <laughs> you're literally wearing skinny jeans, <laughs> Just bro. don't be okay. Okay. You're yeah. not wearing a red, green, and yellow bandana. Does it mean you're my Junes? <laughs> <laughs>
it is a racial just, stereotype. It's just, I know it is, but like, like people yeah. racing to me call them skinny jeans. <laughs> what the fuck? That makes no. I know. That's that's a bad <laughs> web joke. Just, that's a bad web joke. Yeah. Fucking sense. I got got Maz of Veli, the silent assassin, MC Maz. So 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 scandalous. <laughs> Are we going to change it? Oh, it's probably really, um, no, just add another one to the roster. Just add it. I've got an ad libs, mate. Right? Uh, I've got ad libs for days. Hello, hello, names. Hello, names. Yeah, hello, names. But until next time, man. See you into, yeah, see you into next time, man. Yeah, Peace. see you on episode 31, man. 31. Ooh, you hit the 30s, man. I love that shit. Hmm? 30s. Mm. 30s. Yeah, they yeah. say 30s is more yeah, fun. I'm hitting that. It's your 20s, but more, more, more experience. <laughs> Let's do <that>. it. <laughs> Apparently. Okay, bye-bye.